This is a HeadGum Podcast. Let's see how many times we can say $5 foot long. Let's mention it as many times as possible without making someone hurt us. The result of this directive from MMB marketing honchos Jerry Cronin and Jamie Mambro was the $5 foot long song, the most memorable earworm jingle of the 2000s. Composed by Jimmy Harnett of ad music stable Tone Farm, the song was constantly on the airwaves in the dying days of commercial television and successfully hammered home the value of a foot-long sub sandwich for a five spot. The Sando's actual size was well under 12 inches, a fraudulent length like a falsely promised huge hog, but still a remarkable value for a thousand plus calories of processed meats and machine sliced veggies on an unfrozen bread log. Today, inflation means those same sandwiches go for about $12 almost double the federal minimum wage. But back in the halcyon days of the Obama era, thanks largely to the jingle, the promotion was a massive success for the world's largest sandwich chain and second largest restaurant chain in terms of locations. Today, the chain no doubt wishes that song was their advertising legacy, as opposed to its actual legacy, funding the lecherous lifestyle of living mascot Jared Fogle for nearly two decades. Now, Fogle is spending nearly two decades in federal prison for sex crimes, And the chain, too, is shackled, in a sense, with locations shuttering, regulators fining, and franchise owners suing. So can a limited-time, foot-long cookie, churro, and pretzel revive this decaying Goliath in the new frontier of marketing, one driven by social media? This week on Doughboys, we return, once again, to Subway. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. I'm Nick Weiger, along with my co-host, Shower Come Loudy, uh, the Spoon Man Mike Mitchell. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a code word to, to use instead of the C word, because we promised that we wouldn't say the C word. We said we weren't ta- we weren't, it was going to be no C word you, Wait, you said a code word? I guess the C word is very confusing. Because, I just assumed you meant cunt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We're all adults here. <laughs> the cum word. The cum word, yeah. No, you can't say the C word makes you think of something else. You yeah. gotta say the cum yeah, word. Yeah, no, I realized that as Is I was there, doing it. <laughs> there a word we can say instead of the cum word. Crim or you know something like that. Crim sounds gross, so it kind of, but yeah. it also also ambiguous. Flesh crema. Uh, flesh, flesh crema. crema. <laughs> flesh crema is good. I flesh crema. <laughs> I flesh crema into the into the into the shower. People, so people people. You know, I've said too much stuff on this podcast over the years, and why well, today is it's a rough start for for That's us right. today. It was it was I've had a I've had a tough morning. You've been dealing with the rumblies, and we'll also yeah. the the city, the Southland, is dealing mm. with uh with historic rainstorms. Arc storm. Yes, the Ark Storm is here finally. <laughs> um, no, no, it's got that party boat ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that roast was from Patrick. Mitch is top of his class and jerking off into the shower. Uh, thanks. Roast at birdfuck.com. No, it, notice it doesn't say in the shower, it says into the shower, which would suggest he's outside, like aiming. Oh, this, well. has, been, this has been litigated. <laughs> Andre, we got some Andre, news this for has you. been litigated. <laughs> this is established that is lore. the way that I do do that sometimes. It's fun to make a game out of things, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 had a, I had a tough morning. Yes. Uh, our guest told a story before, which which we, which we can get to, which is a great story. Yeah, of a celeb sighting. But I had a tough week, as you know. That's right. Uh, there was there was a there there was a lot of stuff going on in this last week, and then uh, this this morning I woke up and I uh, my stomach was very off. I'll just right. say that mm. as to not be gross. Yeah. Remember Parenthood when they sing that song. Uh, diarrhea. Yeah, <laughs> is that is that where you know the song from? I'm supposed to say the D word. <laughs> <laughs> Drim. <laughs> what is the, the D word makes you th- would make you think of dick probably? Oh yeah, D probably. Word, dick. But it being diarrhea is fun. Yeah, I, I, I my stomach was off 
this that's was, right. was off this morning. And let me, I, I ran to the bathroom, I guess, if that can paint any sort of, that paints a brownish picture for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I, I've had a bad, I've had a bad morning. Um, but uh, last week. Yes. And this, this is off my, 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 our guest story here, which was great, but I went and saw the Omega Man late last night in a, a, a at the Vista. Charlton Heston. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen that one. It was it's 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 basically I Am Legend. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the same source material. And I see this lumbering figure silhouette. Quentin Tarantino himself wow, was there. What a sighting! Yeah, 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 for the IBS text. Festival, yep. or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's called something like that, isn't it? Oh, I mean, for me, said, I was the, yeah, that's, I, yeah, I was the IBS. I thought tech. you were making a joke. Of it. <laughs> yes, it's like some sort of color thing for film. Yeah, whatever. It's great. <laughs> no, and and I, my stomach was probably hurting at that yeah. time. Wow. And probably, I mean, I ate like I went a few times this weekend, so I ate a lot of popcorn, which I th- found out. I think uh, I I don't think I can eat popcorn anymore. Oh, too well, much. It's supposed to be bad for your stomach. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Interesting. I uh, well. That's why you had IB when you saw QT? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I was wanted to say. I wanted to say hello to him, and then yeah. I waited outside. I would. Uh, Let me just, just just low grade growl. Did you did you low grade growl or snore at me? I did. I, is my she hand. Asleep? My hand was no, near her butt. She might have just sighed. And you named her Gemini. And... She came with the name, and oh, she okay. knew it, so we didn't change it. So the former owner was a big fan of the Will Smith film. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's popular. popular Loves 120 <laughs> FPS. <laughs> Great format. Was it was Will Smith the own, former owner of Gemini? No, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> she did come from Miami, so, you know. Wow. wow. I think they talked about the dog on some of the Red Table episodes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my dog's name out of your mouth. <laughs> Why? Because you remember. I do. Mitch, I'm having a blast today. I'm just saying. <laughs> we're, this we're, is almost, fun. we're almost at a full year. Is that, was it, was it, oh man. That was, was over a year ago. It's been yeah. a long time. Oh yeah. man, it's two years ago. Yeah. It was the slap. Yeah. Yeah, it was Hollywood's 9 11. Never forget. <laughs> 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 So this, on, on regular 9-11, Hollywood was just together. <laughs> yeah. We had our feet up. We were fine. Everything was it was fine. But then the slap was, that yeah. was. Right. I, like, I just remember, like, talking to my neighbors and, and saying, like, are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Everyone was like, did you feel that? <laughs> Where were you? Do you remember? Did you mark yourself safe on Facebook from the slap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'll never top the slap. Uh, no, so now we're two years in. So he has Will's got eight more years until yeah. he can come back. And you know, last year they cut the slap for time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, you know, who was going to get slapped last year? Yeah. I, would, I, would. <laughs> I thought the slap at the. T- I was like, this is a bit. I thought it was a work at first. It and looked. Then it also looked very strange. Yes, they like yeah. cut to like a, like they cut to a back camera, like a like yeah. a. Like a like a, it was like a wide shot basically. I thought right? it was a bit until Will Smith was shouting and the audio on him was bad. Yeah, yeah. right, right. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very this strange. is actual chaos. Yeah, but also, you know, and enter- the most entertaining, I guess, the Oscars had been. In a oh yeah, time. for sure. Yeah. It was generally, I think, good for society that it happened. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think the conversations that followed were scintillating? <laughs> I don't know if it was good for society. I think there were a lot of people. Well, then, see, I don't want to be a nerd because at the time, like how social media is. Comedy is dead. No <laughs> one can ever make a joke again. I mean. No, this... with, they're, they're in danger of being slapped. This, this, this is what it was. That this... was very annoying. I mean, there was yeah. a, there was a, like the conversation of like, like people who are like freedom of speech and comedy is getting attacked. But yeah. also I was like, oh, you shouldn't have gotten slapped for it. I was more yeah. on Chris Rock's side. But then a lot of people weren't on Chris Rock's side online. He it's, shouldn't have slapped him for a number of reasons. A, it's just like, eat the joke. You're like a good-looking fucking millionaire getting an Oscar. You can take a joke. Yes. And then, uh, or she can, both of them. And then it's also like, hey, dumbass, like, you're getting an Oscar. Don't go slap the host. Like, yes. Yeah. It's, like, it's not like a very pragmatic level. It's like probably, I don't know, probably bruised the evening in a way. Yes. You know? Yeah. No, I mean, the, it was insane after right. that. Nothing yeah. was normal again. And he won, which is also yeah. insane. Is but like the, the slap world two years out. I, I think that we should maybe pivot. <laughs> this should be a slap focus. This should be a episode. two hour slap comedy. Yeah. March tenth will be another. <laughs> <laughs> I um I think it's what I mean, but like it's good that the slap happened. Like I think the world is 
decidedly less interesting without the slap. That's just a normal Oscars. And sure. Will Smith gives a tearful speech and everyone's like, oh, well, that was great. Yeah. You know, whatever. But the slap happening is just like, oh, OK, that was interesting. And all the kids say things slap now. He's probably That's trying, to trying to get the younger audience back to the Oscar viewing. You That's know? true. Maybe it all makes sense. Maybe Will Smith did that. I mean, it was that. that He's like, this is thing. what it means, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he to... sacrificed his Oscars for 10 years to get, you know, to get younger people into it. I'm yeah. re-releasing Big Willie style and I'm trying to get them into it. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do a slap, right? A slap? The slaps? He did. Re- did didn't he? He did do a rap song. Didn't he do a... Didn't he do a thing with DJ Jazzy Jeff after that? That was like pretty he good. Did? Yeah, I thought he did. I thought he did something recently. He's probably the only guy who would hang out with him after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who your real friends are. You guys have been with you from day one. When is a doughboy slap going to happen? Or what is the equivalent to the doughboy slap? I'll probably slap you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I could see ass. you slapping me. I think it'd be good for the podcast. We just have to figure out how to make it happen. Yeah. And also, you'd cry, and then I'd, I'd also We'd cry. We'd both cry. Yeah. And then our guest would feel weird. <laughs> I'd probably take off. Yeah. Is that unreleased episode 400? I guess that kind of is. But, that, Our, but the yeah. thing is, like, though, that was the difference there is first off, we didn't put that out there. So that's one thing. Like, mm-hmm. And then also, you and I talked about it afterwards, and we came to a, an understanding, which I don't think has happened with a slap. Yeah. Right, that's like, like, a, a, but I get what you're saying in terms no, of like, they, 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 they haven't made a man. I don't think they've made yeah. amends. Yeah, and also it feels like it was. Uh, you know, I know what it was. It was the Rob Lowe episode. <laughs> that is everyone our got slap. mad at us. Yeah, that <laughs> is and our with slap. The, we forever lived in the aftermath. That's oh, true. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's is... his podcast called? Think about literally. it. Literally, literally, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. We will not be guessing on that. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm angling for the Fox Nation show. Yeah. Uh, it there, is though. I am glad that everyone who went after us for the, having Rob Lowe on the podcast also go after uh, his podcast network each and every week. They release an episode. Yeah, that's it. That's enheartening to see that that moral consistency. Uh, yeah, no, that was that that was it was it was great. Yeah, to, that uh, you know the the you know one of the main suburbs that got mad at us was the you know the podcast network that he yeah had a true no it's good the, all, but all good. those people are Wait, great. what was all like, the beef great... about like what what was they the, were mad they we were had mad we had Rob Lowe on the Rob podcast. Lowe on, yeah. What's the issue with that? I guess he did some sk- something scandals. Now I'm gonna, people are going to get mad for the way. People are going to get mad at you. He did something I know scandalous. exactly what happened at this <laughs> He did something point. scandalous did, in yes. the 80s. Oh, okay. he was, he, and he, also he, apparently he did, has he did, bad politics. He, did, he, did, he, did, he yeah. did some bad stuff in the 80s. Yeah. You know, we, we were asked to have him on, and then, yeah. the, and then you know, uh, it seemed like people loved so, Parks and Rec. And I don't know what he did, so maybe I'll ask him for saying So, like, 17-year-old Rob Lowe in Hollywood 80s it didn't have the best moral barometer. It was, so we're going to, like, have an issue with that in 2023 or 4. It was, yeah. it's, it's yeah, it's, like, 24-year-old Rob Lowe yeah. at, the, at the DNC. I'll send you a link uh, okay. afterwards. Yeah. And it, look. You know, I like his movies, but I don't agree with his politics from 1986. <laughs> <laughs> How's he doing supporting Dukakis? Now that he's our president. Oh, wait, he doesn't do yeah. anything. <laughs> he's just a handsome guy in movies. <laughs> it was... Uh, it File was... that under who gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll find out what he did, and I'll be like, can you cut that out? Uh... <laughs> I did get a call from my manager that I was told Rob Lowe is now an enemy of the Doughboys. Yeah. It's the oh, truth man. that happened, which I... Don't want to be anyone's enemy. I don't. You don't want to be on Nixon's enemy list for, but it, like for Rob Lowe. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be on Nixon's enemy list. I heard he tapped your podcast. He's recording this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been full print of the dough boys. This isn't staying in this <laughs> oh, room. Wait, Nixon did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know, I don't want to be on anyone's bad side. No. You know, Putin. You get the good I don't photo. want to be mad at Putin. I don't want Putin to be mad at me. I'd say, hey, cut some of that shit out. You know, I, I, I would. I don't agree with what people do, but I don't want them mad at me. You wouldn't slap Putin, Mitch. I would not slap Putin. If I if President Trump was in front of me first, I'd salute him. Of course, yeah, of course you salute him. You gotta. And then I would shake his hand, right, and ask him if he'd be the final guest on our podcast. But just here while we're recording, if you had the ch- if you had the chance to assassinate Putin, would you do it? Just between you and me and the mics. If if we would. If... <laughs> I'm just so afraid that, like, you'll read about me being poisoned. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. I, well, I, th- I think you did that earlier with that Subway tuna sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. No, no, f- no future spoilers for. Well, anyways, look, I seeing Tarantino was a. I was going to, like, I wanted to say hi to him. And I, yeah. I did. So I did kind of, like, stick around and wait. 
and uh, Olivia Wilde was there as well. Mm, very exciting. And so I was like, I'm going to wait and just say hello. And I was like, what am I going to say? Like, can I audition for You know what I mean? Like, I'm not right. going to do anything like that. Give me in that 10th and last movie, buddy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, what do you? What, what can you do? So I don't want to say, like, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to just, I, I didn't, I didn't have anything to say. So I kind of just, like, stayed and watched. And then there were other people who approached him. That's why you just eye contact and nod. Yeah, I, that, I, 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 but, but then they go, I, 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 we both know what's going on here. And yeah. I, I like your work. I won't, I'll just keep right. going. Because other than that, I want to meet someone in like a peer capacity. I mean, I'm not done saying I'm a peer, but if like you were like even just a fucking day player in some shit, you're like, okay, we're here doing a thing and there's a context or a friend of a friend introduces you. That's how I want to meet someone. A hundred percent. Otherwise, I'll let the chips just fall. That's, yeah. that's, that's how I felt. I didn't want to be like, like, you know, Paul was in one of his movies, Paul Russ, but I didn't yeah. want to be like, my friend Paul's in your movie, you know, right, I just right, saw like right. an idiot or, and then I, I didn't want to, but then like, I did hear a guy be like, can I come to set for your next movie is one of the questions <laughs> guys asked. That's, that's my favorite is like, you're trying so hard to be respectful of someone's like time and privacy and then they're just yeah. like complete lunatics or the yo, yeah. complete opposite and shamelessly. Yes. Well, you should have been like my friend Paul, Paul L. Jackson was in one of your movies. And he'd be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you sure of his first name, sir? Uh, I, I didn't I, I I so I didn't say hello to him, but I did kind of stick around. I well I stuck around for like a little too long because like I was just kind of watching. But there were still a lot of people there. Yeah. But then I was leaving and they left, and uh, I think Olivia Wilde thought I was following her to her car. Yeah. So Olivia Wilde, I was not following you to your car. <laughs> I auditioned. She did. I auditioned for her back in the day for Uber driver yeah. for Booksmart. I didn't. Wow. So I, I, when she I, pulled I, out the pepper spray, that's what keyed you, <laughs> keyed you in. <laughs> Was I like one foot behind her walking closely? Yes, but uh, she, yeah. So I just want to say I did not, follow, but he had a, our guest had a much uh, cooler uh, experience. Yes. Uh, which you should, I got to play the drop. Gotta I was going to say you got to introduce Mitch. our guest, but I, I got to. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, had, I had something I was going to talk about up top, which we won't do because we Wait. did 10 minutes on the slap, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Wait, you gotta tell what you gotta talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. Uh, but no, what, what are you talking about? We're not gonna about? talk about it. We'll hold it for next week. This Paul, no, this podcast is bullshit. You gotta talk about <laughs> it. I'm not gonna talk about it. No, we're gonna intro our guests and then we can talk about it. Okay, together. play your drop. Emma, hit him with a drop. I'm a normal human man. I'm gonna meet you at the Mesquabican Beach Water Slide. I do wash my legs, but I don't use like a rag. I just use a bar of soap. Sorry, I'm a misogynist. I refuse to say queen. <laughs> Fucking kids is bad. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Because they can't make you come. <laughs> Bug has entered the building. <laughs> Skittle. So the Real Housewives of Studio of uh, Doughboys. Or something? I, that is. That, that's, <laughs> I think that's what that is. <laughs> You're wise, you're gonna like who this was sent in by. One of the ad chad finalists. Wow. Our friend Bo. Hi, Bo. I sent in a drop attached like two years ago, subject line Real Housewives of Doe Drop from March 19th, 2022, that you never played. It's bad, of course, but you if you'd be willing to give it a listen, I'd appreciate it. Love you all. Thanks for the laughs, Bo. Thanks, Bo. Oh. That's very kind of Bo. Wow. All right. Intro our guest. And say this thing that you have. I don't have it. No, it's not. It's not. This is so insane. This This is so insane. Mitch, I think me not saying it is going to be our slap. (laughs) (laughs) I think this is good for the podcast. No, it's not. No, it's good. good. It's good me not saying it. Uh, Drops at birdfuck.com. It's just more stuff about Rob Lowe. (laughs) (laughs) You got to intro our guest. You got to say it. Uh, Our guest is a four time Sundance director and actor from Barry, the death of Dick Long, and his live show, The Jesse Miller Talk Show. Andre Highland is here. Hi, Andre. That's right. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much for making time for myself. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Here's the thing, Wags. Yeah. I've known our guest longer than I've known you. That is wild. That's true. What would that be, 2006, six, seven, something like that? Yeah, 2006. Yeah. I mean, like, I I probably had seen you in a show, I'm guessing, at that right. point. But I no, didn't. no, I like your first version. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Andre's good friend, uh, yes. Paul Oyen, was, uh, was in, That's right, was I in Paul? Crud. Yeah. That's right, your old sketch group. One of your old sketch groups. We used to, one of my old 
improv group, Swags. Sorry, I forgot. Crud 2 is your sketch group. That's Crud right. was your it's improv group. It's old sketch practice group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crud was the improv group. And yeah. we had a we we at one point set the record in the Andy Dick Black Box Theater. That's right. Which got changed to the Dell Close Black this Box was... Theater after he got himself in a little bit of trouble. The best kind of comedy, a competitive comedy, the mm-hmm. improv cage match. Mm-hmm. You were the champions there. That's right. We've talked I've talked about before. We faced the real world. You oh, were yeah. there for that, right? I was. Yeah. And I remember there was a group called Kick Drum Decade, which was just like if Axe Body Spray and Douchery created a fucking <laughs> improv group. It was like you would think that improv group was like too like silly and kind of like like the like the I don't know like the theater school kids of comedy in a sense. I mean sure. that in a nice way. And then you wouldn't think that's sort of like the Hummer driving fucking H two Maxim magazine lifestyle would find its way into a sketch group in, yes. or a, an improv group i mean yeah, but it did it yeah did. and that was kick drum decade and I, don't, I don't know where they are now i i know one or two of the guys and they are the two that they're i know great guys they're actually great guys they're, 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 they, they kick are. drum was just an you know you had to be there it was like it was like rablo in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> the two the, the the guy the two guys that i do know are are nice guys but at the time I 100% agreed. I was like, yeah. fuck these guys. Well, they also were like, wanted their audience to like boo us, which is like kind of yeah. crazy. Wait, this was the real world team? No. no, this no, is no. A good, the this real world team is well We been, fucking but... mopped the floor. Yeah. Yeah, the real world team was cooler to us. We, yeah. we should clarify for people, because first off, the real world was a reality TV show that was on MTV for many years. Yeah. Uh, on the real world, <laughs> as part of, it was like the one of the original reality shows. Yeah. As part of the premise, the, the people who lived in the house together had to have a job, and this mm-hmm. season, their job was to be Professional improvisers. Yes. Yeah. So they they well, studied one of the at most the, coveted jobs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But lucrative <laughs> job. Um, and by, they were, by the way, yeah, I love that you're explaining like real world to our very young fan base that doesn't even know what real world is. I guess <laughs> we de- we they have, don't even know what the actual real world is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Put TikTok. So down you don't learn that until you graduate. Wow, that's a great point. <laughs> No, we have fans who were born like in the mid to late '90s, early 2000s. The podcast, like, like it's 2023. If you were yeah. born on 9/11, you're 22. You got a shitty birthday. Yeah. 2024. <laughs> it's 20, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, tw- it's 2024. I said, I said the year wrong. The girl Even from later. the original Jurassic Park, the blonde, the blonde girl. She was born on 9/11. Was she really? Yeah. Whoa. And I think Ludacris was too. You might want to fact check that one. But wow, uh, the blonde girl was, Yeah. Damn, you know that he likes to party too. That sucks. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, the, 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 I mean, I'm saying his. I guess just one birthday was kind of ruined. I, I yeah. guess you know after that. Well, year, also was, Pete Rose breaking Ty Cobb's record was tarnished. That's that was September 11th, 1985. Wow. Was it really? Was, you know, I, most people say that's the biggest tragedy. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you great Americans. Yeah. You wait. You're from, you're Pete Rose fan because you're from Cincinnati. Yeah, now yeah. I understand. He, sh- he should be in the Hall of Fame. Pete you know, Rose. You know who else is a Cincinnati Reds fan? Who's that? Rob Lowe. Not, I'm not wow. even joking. I'm not even joking. He's from Dayton, Ohio. He usually doesn't yeah. pick Dayton. You know who's from Dayton, Ohio? That's right. Our buddy Dave Ferguson. Dave Ferguson, who's a oh, member yeah. of Crud. That's right. We just did a little we, Harold we'll ourselves. Red wow. Yeah. We just we've <laughs> we've been kick drum select. Good night. Kick drum select. What were they called? Kick drum kick, decade. Kick drum decade. <laughs> Sorry, kick drum decade. And it was over ten years ago now. So ADD, kick drum dude. twenty year. Well, I don't know what the fuck they call themselves now. What? That's a dumb name. What is a kick drum? D- I mean, not that that's the first dumb improv group name, but like, like, like since yeah. they had such gusto and like, like it was like supposed to be like a macho improv group, which is a fucking. It's the dorkiest yeah. shit in the world. <laughs> we were crud. What sounds like, they like go mud? Out, they go out in the alley. All right, all right, dog. Let's do that zip zap zap. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 fucking nerds. Like, <laughs> I love this seventeen year old beef that's being aired out. They were. It was. Well, <laughs> let me get on my pinstripe vest and fedora. We're gonna go fucking. <laughs> they were get, get some Carl's Junior. Get in there. <laughs> uh, Andre was was very supportive of us and Paul, and it was uh, in a. a, a, a such a funny person. I'm sorry yeah. that you had to watch so much bad improv. <laughs> but uh, but um, I was gonna say the real world producers that like we hung out with the real world cast afterwards, and the real world producers were probably like, "Ooh, I wonder if anything will happen with between Crud and the real world cast." And like, mm. <laughs> I think when they saw us, they knew that there was gonna be nothing happening afterwards. Right, right. They left. I think as soon as the uh, as the as the show was over, they left. We. We played. We we went up against them in a sh- in a in a in a show, which I've talked about. A, the improv, improv. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was the real world is really one of the oldest reality shows. It's like that and cops. 
Yeah. Right. Should have yeah. had the cast of cops come do an improv uh, <laughs> <laughs> session with you. <laughs> There's a screaming shirtless guy and a couple of cops or something. <laughs> Uh, Andre, you may, we, we are from Cincinnati. We've established yeah. this. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to ask about a couple of Cincinnati-related topics. Yeah. First up, you mentioned the Bengal Barrel. Yes, I'm the inventor. He's the inventor. The of inventor that. of the Bengal Barrel. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, you don't even know what the Bengal Barrel is. I mean, the is. barrel existed, but I brought the Bengal to it. Yeah. 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 No, I know the Bengal Barrel. I've seen the Bengal Barrel video, mm -hmm. yeah. and also, which is which is great, and that, but also, like, I, I, you can piece it together from context, knowing the Cincinnati, knowing the franchise, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. Yeah, it's not too big of a mystery, I guess. Yeah. There was no mystery. There was no mysterious part to it. But the Bengal Barrel is great. I was yeah. a fan. Barrel. And and when, this is this is when the when the Bengals, who have now had a little bit of a rough stretch since that since, since Burrow, since yeah, Burrow. busted his wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully be back. But the Bengal Barrel <laughs> took more prominence when they won on their Super Bowl run in in twenty two. Yeah, or yeah, February twenty two, Super Bowl twenty one season or whatever. But uh, but uh, I actually made the first Bengal Barrel video in two thousand nine. Damn, because I was just making a video out of wow. tailgate because they went. They I were playing the Chiefs. Actually, funny enough, then, but it was Carson Palmer era. Oh and yeah. I, yeah, yeah. And I just picked up a barrel and started saying, "Yeah, Bingo Barrel Dog," you know. And then, um, <laughs> but it was weird even before they went to the Super Bowl. But it's not like a like you know videos on the internet get like millions of hits. It doesn't even sure. have that. But it like it definitely grew around the Super Bowl. But even over the years, it was weird. I would like dry, dry. I'd be walking in Cincinnati. When I'd go back, and a couple of times people shout out "bingle barrel" at me from the window of their car. And I'm like, that's I crazy. think Cincinnati like, yeah. definitely embraced it. Oh that's yeah, no, great. I'm so hyped to have something part of like Cincinnati sports culture. Uh, you know, I'm proud of that. <laughs> yeah, that rules. <laughs> that rules. I, I um, I love because also so basically, he used to, what, what would that be called? The big uh, like a uh, oh, just like a construction barrel, big orange yeah, construction orange barrel with stripes. Yeah. So it looks like a tiger. So therefore, is a bingle barrel. Right. And then yeah. he were having people slap the bingle barrel. Yeah. And then you did ask like a few cops, I believe, to slap yeah. the bingle barrel. He was like bingle barrel, your ass out of here. <laughs> 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 he, he's got to be like a Steelers fan or something. <laughs> Did any cops slap on it? Any people that have? Uh, I got, who did I, I don't know. Who, yeah, a lot of people have slapped it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm normally like running slapped. amok with it when people just slap it haphazardly, which is the way to do it. Yeah. I will say, I got beef with a Bengals fan. Or actually, I don't have beef oh. with him. I don't give a shit. It seemed like he had an issue with me. It was at the Super Bowl. There's a guy this. called Captain Bengal. And look, I like anybody who supports the Bengals. So I don't have real beef with this guy. And honestly, I it came from me getting, uh, I'll just explain it. We were outside the Super Bowl uh, when it was in LA, and uh, I, there's this guy who calls himself Captain Bingle, and he just dresses like Captain Obvious from his commercials, but it's Bingle okay. themed. So I'm not the most original, buddy. But um, but you know, whatever you you, you go to all the games. I you mean, know? it's really funny yeah, in a yeah. lot of ways. Captain you know, I mean, Obvious. Yeah, picking yeah. that. There's so many Captain. Yeah. Not Captain America. Yeah. Captain Obvious. Yeah. Not Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain yeah, Obvious. Yeah. Yeah. From the Expedia commercials. Yeah. <laughs> But you know that's that's you know that's his journey, man. You know, <laughs> but there was a Bengal stormtrooper for a while. There's the guy the construction helmet and the big hands and everything. There's people over the years, and then I saw him outside the Super Bowl, and I go, "Oh shit, Captain Bengal!" I go for a high five, and oh, I guess is yeah, we have the video vote version of this. Um, so I go, "Oh shit!" Ca like pretend like you're me, and okay. you go, "Oh, oh shit, Cap!" Oh Cap shit, Captain Bengal! And he goes. And he was just what like the he was so like like uh this is my day. <laughs> like, oh my god! He just seemed a really to, he checked seemed, out. High five. Like not, a, yeah, like a check out high five, but it was like a resentful high five. Oh, like, like dismissive. Uh, like Got this it. is my day. Yes, not yeah, not that yeah. barrel idiot. You know, it was wow. like it was like this weird subculture of fucking Bingle fan weirdos. And like and like it was a long time ago. I got I dressed up as the Carl's Jr. star and made a video with uh, with Anna Lee Lawson, who you know. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh and I was going around in this Carl's Jr. star costume that we got out of the dumpster at this costume shop she used to work at. We, and we went up to Hollywood Boulevard as we thought, it would be funny to go around as the fucking Carl Star or whatever. <laughs> and the guy who played Batman and Superman at the time, the guy who played Superman died a few years ago, who was, oh, up there, yeah. who was like a, there forever. And the guy who played Batman who apparently had a violent outburst, the one who looked like George Clooney, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, when I was there on my knees as Carl's Jr., or as Carl, and then uh, I, I was th those guys started talking shit about me, standing next to me. Like wow. uh, the guy, Batman and Superman. Yeah, Batman and Superman were talking shit about me because I was on my knees because the the costume was actually made for a, like a little person, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was on my knees in it, <laughs> and he goes, "You can see your legs coming out the back." He's like, "You're not gonna last all day on on your knees like that." And <laughs> and then and then they go, and then Batman. I can't remember because I couldn't see him. I could just hear him talking. Batman or Superman said. Said he's not even a real superhero. <laughs> so it was just like like a view into that world of like Hollywood Boulevard superhero costume yeah. people, you know. 
But when Captain Bingle was like, went in for that like resentful, like, eh, like, like meek high five, I was like, this is that kind of beef. This is that world. Oh, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm more in it, but like, I, I was just like, fuck it, let's unite, man. Let's, you know, It'd be very funny. let's get the Bingle stormtrooper over here. And, you know, he'd probably <laughs> right. try to throw that guy in a dumpster or something, but. It'd be very funny if in a few weeks you saw like Doughboys with Captain Bengal. <laughs> <laughs> We've picked sides. <laughs> He's there with Rob Lowe being like, no, man, Cincinnati sports. <laughs> Kick from decade. Yeah. <laughs> that sort of petty tyrant is like the like they're the yeah. they're the craziest person. They have so much uh, you know, that this is my domain. This is the yeah. this, I'm the center of the universe here. Yeah. So I have so much import like put so much importance on yeah. this. Yeah. He's probably like, You're not even really like that guy. And it's like, oh, and you're a real captain, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, Captain Bingle, if you're out there, if you're listening, uh, just give a good high five next time. That's all. That's all. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's all you got to do. For, you know, I was trying that's to give all, you a high five. It's was, all Bengal fandom. Yeah, what you, yeah, it's, it's all love, man. Who day? You know. I I uh I cool, who day seems fun to say. Yeah. Who day? Who day? Who day? Who day? Who day gonna be that Bengals? Who day? Nobody. That's a very quiet abridged version. But there you I, go. You know, for a while <laughs> I was saying go <laughs> birds. But now I'll say go who birds, day. go birds, go birds is good. <laughs> he's he's now he's gonna say who day, who from... day, yeah. Not to be confused with who dat with the Saints. I so I know who dat, yeah. But who day is distinct. Yeah, yeah. Go birds, who dat, who day. I think I like who day. Sounds like an owl, like thinking about what his day is gonna be like. <laughs> like who day? <laughs> Every uh, day for an owl. Uh, the Bengals fandom is uh, dropping by the second as you keep saying who day, day? Wags. I think that you should probably <laughs> no spread it, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we should we should back up for a second because you had a celebrity sighting of your own. You oh, told yeah. us this. That's why I told my story, and that's oh, why Mitch yeah. told his story. But I want to hear yours. Sure. I want everyone to hear yours. Okay, so I went to Salt Lake City this weekend. Uh, for, to visit my wives, and then uh, it's like such a cheap, <laughs> shitty joke. But anyway, uh, no, I went to Salt Lake <laughs> to do a project, and then uh, I was uh, I was waiting at the, the in Burbank Airport, and then uh, this dude walked by, and I thought it was Paul Owen, my friend who was in uh, Crud. Yeah, great guy. Uh, and I was like, oh shit, that's not Paul, that's fucking Dave Grohl. And then uh, I was like, oh cool. As a lifelong you know Nirvana fan and Foo right. Fighters, of course. Afterwards, uh, I was like, oh shit. It's probably one of the only few celebrities I get a little geeked on, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, and then it's like that thing you're talking about, Quentin Dardino's like, I kind of want to say like, what's up? But like, I'm not going to say what's up. Like the fuck? And just yeah. be like, your stuff's great. Ah, all right, later. And then, um, <laughs> and then, so anyway, we were just sitting across from each other for a while. And then at some point I got to use the bathroom or get a snack or something. And then he happened to walk, walk by. And I was like, I just, I just, I just, we just made eye contact and nodded and he nodded. And I was like, all right, that's good. That's good. That's, that's satisfying. And that way, you know, you, you also don't have the, I don't think he'd be a dick. He's got a pretty good reputation to be a nice guy. But then it's like, uh, Okay, I, I wasn't like, oh, nah, now nah, every time I listen to the fucking uh, whatever, it's like, it's, it's, I'm like, that guy's a dick. If you went to get high five, Dave Grohl and gave you a Captain Bengal five, yeah, that'd be really disappointing. that would fucking yeah. suck. Yeah, I would. that would make more sense to me, though, because you, if you're an actual sure. legit famous person, you got all kinds of lunatics and weirdos dealing with you, you know, right, like, yeah, yeah. demanding a high five. Like, I've known who he stranger. is since I was 11. That's weird. You know what I mean? That's got to be I mean, that's not weird that I do. He's a famous guy, but like, to I'm just be, trying to think of if I think Captain Bengal is more famous than Dave Grohl. It depends on what country. Depends on what country. You're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think probably Dave Grohl. I think Grohl beats. I think, I think Grohl. Grohl beats. Yeah. Him. I, think I Grohl mean, you put him. Foo Fighters and Nirvana together. I think definitely. Yeah. You go yeah. to anywhere yeah. in the in the uh, Asia, Captain Bingle is bigger. <laughs> yeah. And and, and 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 parts of Germany. But other than that, <laughs> I would love if that was true. If Captain Bingle had a huge following in Germany. <laughs> But I was very satisfied with my my uh, friendly not exchange. I was like, mm -hmm. all right, yeah, you know, we both know yeah. what's going on here, and that's we're good. And then uh, at least that's what I took from it. Quentin, when he came up, the uh, now I talk like <laughs> I'm friends with him. He when he's come up the aisle, I I gave him a little nod. And he's like, uh, ah, great nod, great nod. <laughs> 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 hey, he's framing me up. Why? Do you give nods to strangers? I do a lot of those. Um, I do sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm you like, uh, when I, uh, do you want fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> but sucks. But no, to put good. the but to put the bookend on the Dave Grohl thing, that's yes, not what, that didn't make, that's not an interesting story. What we told already, but what happened is yes. on the flight back. Also, I had asked for a flight back. I got could have got an earlier flight to LAX, and I decided to stay in Salt Lake City for like eight hours longer so I could fly into Burbank. I love this move. This is such a better fucking 
airport to go in and out of. It's just to it's not like, have to even go to LAX, like makes your day so it's much amazing. better. It's you amazing. You also got a Guy Fieri restaurant in the yes, Burbank a- yeah. airport, which you can go, you can go There's check out. There's a Glendale uh, themed uh, kiosk as well, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, uh, I'm, uh, I realize on the flight, uh, when I'm getting ready to go on the flight back to uh, Salt Lake for my delayed, not delayed, but the flight I took longer, was also, who's there? Dave Grohl. And then I'm getting on the plane wow. and again, make eye contact. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, oh, he'll probably think I'm some fucking creeper following him or something, but this is totally coincidental. And then he goes, uh, he goes, hey, you were on our flight out too. <laughs> Which fucking rules. Which made my day. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh yeah. And I was, then I told, like, I told a fan for a second, I was like, you rule, dude. <laughs> and then he's like, all right. And then that <laughs> oh, was Oh, when it. they give you that, they yeah, give you yeah. that little. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, set, he, set it off. he set it yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that was like, yeah. That fucking rules. Yeah, so that was that was a good. Uh, that was. A it's good... way better than my story where it just looks like I followed Olivia Wilde <laughs> to a car. <laughs> Wait, can I ask I, about that topic? I, but I that does suck when something looks like something. You're like, I'm literally just walking or yeah, just walking going, going to this my direction car. or that, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Look, obviously, yeah. you know, it, it's it's. Uh, uh, I, I understand women in the situation being like very like uh, understandably cautious. I get that. If you find yourself in and I find myself in this situation, uh, you know, more often than I'd like where I'm walking the same direction as a woman yeah. like behind her. And I'm like, I got to just speed up and go around them so they don't think I'm following <laughs> them. But or the other thing I will do is I will be like, OK, if she turns. Oh, by the way, I think we should transition our podcast into this sort of stuff. <laughs> If she turns right here, I'll go straight. If she goes straight, I'll turn right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right, I'll do like a right. little calculation to make it yeah. clear that I'm, what's that? <laughs> Politically? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I had an issue. I had, I had a situation like this where I went to do the Bug Main show the other day. And I was at that, uh, the Lyric Hyperion. And there was this dog, like, kind of walking by itself. But then yeah. there was a, a you, couple... met, you mentioned the story, yeah. Oh, wait, did I say it on the I think you said it. I don't know if you said it did on the pod. Did I say it on the pod? You there was... did in the Emily Yoshida's episode, oh, okay. I believe. You said, said it on last already. week's episode. On last week's yeah. episode, I, 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 I said, is that your dog? And then the lady said, like, it's kind of cr- it's kind of scary to have a guy, like, like ask a question like that out of nowhere. I was like, right. I'm trying to help the fucking dog. yeah. I'm trying to help the dog. It was an off-leash dog, and you wanted to see, make sure that it had a person. I can't help that Reasonable I'm Frankenstein-esque. Question. It's not my <laughs> fault. I don't know if you remember uh, when I was walking on the reservoir one day in Silver Lake and ran across you and, and Jack and, and the crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Susser. Well, yeah, Susser yeah. there, yeah. yeah. Jack and, uh, of Crud. Jack yeah, of Crud. Jack Susser of, of Crud, too. Susser yeah, of Crud, yeah. too. Jack Life also is of Crud, a herald. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, and then there's a big, uh, whatever, most people out in the world aren't familiar with the sidewalk space around the reservoir here mm. nearby. They should um, be. But it's pretty fucking big. It's like the size of this. It's bigger than this car. At least yeah. it depends on where you are. But the part we were in was like the widest part of it, right? Yeah. And I don't know if you remember this. This We're like, yeah, there's a group of what, like four of us chatting? Yeah. But we weren't taking up the entire span of the, the path, that. right? Mm-hmm. And then this woman walks by. And she said, I can't remember the exact quote, but it was like, make way, uh, sidewalk space, or something like that. Yeah. And it was just like, you and your dog both fit perfectly fine past us. Yeah. Like, yeah, like if it was a busier day, it was like a Tuesday morning. No one was there except yeah. for us and this woman and her dog. I don't know what my point is, but just, I don't it's know. It's fucking God. bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's like, it's yeah. calm you down. Like, this we, podcast... if we were blocking the path, sure. But even then... It's a fucking park, man. Like, you know, like, we weren't, like, laying across. We weren't having a sit-in on the goddamn we sidewalk. Talk, it was we were just, just like, chatting. Yeah. yeah, you can add, yeah, I mean, like, like you can be polite. Always yeah. is the first option. Yeah, and if someone's yeah. going to be a dick about it, then that, then you can escalate. But start with politeness. Yeah. Casey, I don't know how But there difficult... wasn't any... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I don't know how difficult it would be, but we're, we're transitioning here. Calling out Karens. If you can change Doughboys <laughs> to calling out Karens. That would be great, yeah. We gotta call out these Karens. Yeah. Just fix that in the, the po- in post. Yeah. Fix the logo. Yeah. Put up calling out Karens. Yes. Yeah, great. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then next That's... week, the next week you'll change that to proud. <laughs> <laughs> it'll really, it'll really go a different direction. <laughs> um, but yeah, logistically, like she had way, she had loads of space. She yeah, fit her and an animal creature past us. Fine. People and, are too fucking. Like it's something maybe she came across in the past, and she's like, "This is." Close enough to what I was angry about. I'll just rattle yes. at these guys. Yeah. There had to be some sort of fucking history with the, yeah 
with the reservoir. Yeah. One reason I prefer look, I'm I'm not I'm not a car dude. I drive by necessity. I try to 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 you know walk and take public transit as much as mm. possible. One reason I generally prefer being a pedestrian is because I feel like you're going to encounter more craziness on the road when people are within their cars. But oh, you do encounter cr- insanity in person as a pedestrian and that's even worse because it feels like what the what is going on here? Am I in danger? What's yeah. happening? And why is this person yelling at me? Yeah. This dude in Park City recently last month, uh, I was just the sidewalks were really clean. I mean, it was snowy, but the sidewalks were clear. Enough space for both of us. And I'm um, walking by. I was like on the phone. I wasn't like talking super loud. I mean, he's outside. He gives a shit anyway. Yeah. And, uh, and he goes, oh, good day to you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, so, did you want to join the phone conversation or something? Like, so weird. This man. is wild to me. You're a very friendly man, too. I don't know why you're getting harassed on sidewalks. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't make sense. It happens a lot. I think they might just be. Uh, I do notice Team Captain Bang. Uh, team Captain, Captain Bango. Bango. Yeah. <laughs> what is fun, I've noticed when I've done like hidden camera stuff or gone out in character and stuff, like I get less flack from people. Sure. You know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sort of the instigator in those instances, but I'm not like even a dick then or whatever. But like, but like when I'm just sort of myself and kind of whatever my, this demeanor is. Yeah. It's yeah, I get shit like that. No, me too. I think yeah. I think it's. Partially my unlikable like they seem persona. Nice. They won't want to fight. So I'll rattle off some bullshit at them or something. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm surprised that you don't get it more often. But I think it's probably because you have like a kind of a one hour photo type of vibe to you. <laughs> <laughs> People don't really want to you know right. engage. I guess yeah. you could say. Um, are you taking pictures of them as well or no? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that, that's your reference point for a psychopath is the Robin Williams movie one hour photo. I, mean, I, I, I just, I was just, it popped into my head. Yes. Yeah. Know. Um, that's a real weird movie. It is a weird movie. In the end, he like makes them fuck and like takes pictures of them fucking. Uh, you're supposed to say spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> no, some fucking Karen's going to yell at me. <laughs> Do they show Krim? Uh, I don't think there's any crim. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe, Wait, maybe was, implied crim. What mm-hmm. was the other word for it? Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, flesh crema? Flesh crema. Yeah. Flesh crema. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Before. No, I, I have the IMDb up. It is rated R for a uh, brief flesh crema. So. <laughs> BFC? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we got we to talk uh, Cincinnati food. That's right. First okay, of all. right. Yes. Second of all, just tell us what the fucks you were going to say before. <laughs> just tell us. We'll sa- I'll, I'll save it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Cincinnati food. So, By you- the way, there's a Kate Blanc podcast playing behind your head, and it's just as I'm like, damn, it's probably very funny. You know, I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, what is going on? So they, they we have we have a window here which we can see out into the headgum lobby. In the headgum lobby, there is a monitor that is playing video of a better podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's Our very guest distracting. He's looking at it longingly, wishing he was on it. Yeah. <laughs> um Kate is this Berlin, a new thing? very, very funny. I I don't it's a new thing. This yeah. is a new thing, yeah. It's a new thing. So this is like if you like go to the HBO offices and they're playing like Game of Thrones yeah. with the TVs. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're this... here to pitch the Doughboys TV show. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not Kate. She's the guest, it looks like, in this scenario. Yeah. Whose podcast is it? I can't read it or really see who the hosts are. Seek treatment. Seek treatment. Yeah. Seek mm. treatment. Hmm. It's not literally. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer literally be up there? I'm literally up there. That'd be great. About that. I can't wait till literally is. Or, or he's just a guest here on like. It's all right, man. Him and I got the Ohio connection. It'll work it all out. <laughs> we might have to call you in to fucking smooth things over. Get him and his brother Chad over here. We'll throw out some opening pitches together or something at a Reds game. All right. So Cincinnati food. Also, yes. you should just tell us your thing. But Cincinnati food. Don't you think you should tell well, us well, maybe. Well, maybe. We'll see. We got some other stuff to talk about. We're up against the clock. Talking about Skyline really Chili. Let's get into it. Let's talk it. about Skyline, Skyline Chili. Right. Skyline Chili. Skyline, what do you want to know? Do you like it? Yes. Great question. Yes, I do. That's it. I grew up with it. <laughs> and then uh, there's Gold Star Chili as well, which would be, if I'm going to do an L.A. comparison, because, you know, everybody else is in L.A., uh, uh, <laughs> would be like in and out would be, like Skyline would be in and out Burger, and Gold Star would be like Fat Burger. Okay, sure. Okay. So, so it has its hard hardened fans for both. But yes, which, but, which but side are you on? Skyline is the more popular. Well, I'm on the more popular side of Skyline, but I'm on the unpopular opinion of I like them both. But if I had to choose between mm-hmm. the two, I'd go Skyline. Got it. Yeah. And I, and I get into trouble sometimes here. Not that much trouble because who gives a shit? But like I like the Lakers and the Clippers. Who gives a fuck? Wow. wow. Now I'm this, wearing my this, NBA sweatshirt yeah. to, for my general fandom of, of basketball. Watch it, can two a rock, but if I had to choose between, an NFL hat, if I had yeah. to choose between the two, I'd probably go Lakers. 
Wow. Yeah, but, that, I, but I don't. I don't take. Why, why not enjoy both? I, I, I think it's one of those weird ass things. So, no, it, it yeah. is like. See, I well, you you hate the Clippers. I hate the Clippers. I think the thing with sports fandom is part of the fun of rooting for a team is rooting against a team. So sure. I root against the Celtics. I root against the Clippers. Well, you know, you like both. That's fine. Yeah. Let's if they're, if they're going team. head to head, I'm going to go Lakers. But there you go. I'm happy to support both Los Angeles teams. Yeah. That and is a we, that is a heretical opinion. We in play LA, by you the way. like twice a year. The Lakers. It's a historic rivalry. It's one of the best rivalries in sports. Bro, like San Celtic. Diego versus Minnesota, man. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to he needs to grow no, up. <laughs> you're saying we about the Celtics. The Lakers Celtics is a historic rivalry. I know Anyone it's a rivalry. Just a fan <laughs> of sports should be Lakers a fan fans of that rivalry. Hate the Celtics more. They 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 they're mad. They're mad. You you guys are you guys are mad too. We're too you're too we're two in your heads. We're two in your heads. Yeah. I think I think this is projection. We're two in your heads. I never think about the Lakers. I'm thinking about them. <laughs> You're thinking about them right I, now. I, I, I never think about the Lakers. Never ever. You know what? Did you watch Winning Time? It featured the Celtics almost just as much. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Did you watch Winning Time? Yes, I loved Winning Time. <laughs> Adam McKay, what a produced show. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're hitting lots of buttons right now. <laughs> Our buddy Payman, a good good friend of the show, uh, a previous guest of the show, directed a lot of the, the Winning Time episodes. Great. Okay, yeah. so where do we edit? <laughs> where do we edit everything I've said about Winning Time? I mean, Payman told me he's like, you're not going to like Winning Time, right? And Payman, you're right. <laughs> 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 Payman, you were right. You were right. Payman's an excellent director. He's a great guy. Great we dude. like Payman a lot. You know, not my cup of tea. Sure. Well, you've always got Cheers. You that, know. Hell yes, you we do. do. Yeah. Cheers is one of the greatest of all time. Yeah. Love and, Cheers. Yeah. And, and I, you got the Fraser reboot back in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting one. I understand that they they were like, well, Niles doesn't want to the David I. Pierce doesn't want to yeah. reprise Niles, and mm -hmm. that's the whole. Without that, it's like there is no yeah. Seattle Fraser. So right. I understand that, but like that becomes a thing where I'm just like, maybe just don't do the show. I watched it. It was all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's my rave review. <laughs> but it was nice to see the old. Well, it was, that's not the old gang. It's just Frazier. Yeah, and then well, Lilith's in it, so that's a little bit. That's about it. Yeah, I auditioned for the firefighter's friend who went to a, a funny. Dude oh, you've been, been great before. in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy I've been like his... Mitch is in it. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every, in Hollywood, you do stuff sometimes that's not good. We all have. I think people. But get I don't even think it's bad. I think it just took getting used to because like all your favorite characters aren't there. It's like right. where's Daphne? Where you know? Where's the brother? Where's the, well? I know where where's the dad Roz? is, but like you know, where's yeah. Brett Gilpin? We got we got too sensitive about this though. Our podcast is bad most of the time. That's true. It's bad. You, yeah. Wait, wait. You mean We're like keeping it going today? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, cool. I got some guy on who slaps a construction barrel. This is getting pretty <laughs> fucking weak. And then some other lunatic won't even high five him. Yeah. That's who they brought on. Get into sidewalk fights. <laughs> I uh, I, if they have a guy on that kind of met Dave Grohl. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I look. I just think that. If someone came up to me and was like, that episode sucked, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know. A lot of things I do suck. I don't, <laughs> who cares? We got too sensitive about that. It doesn't matter. I think I'd be like, leave me alone. Like, why, sure. why did you talk? Why did you say this to me? Is this me talking to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think the, but, but like, you're talking about a different thing. You're talking about, sure. because going up to someone and saying like, I don't like your work. Like, if you went yeah. up to Quentin Tarantino and were like, and I know this is not how you feel, but if I you mean, were I like, would also, if someone came up to me and said, like, I don't like your work, I think you're bad, I would be like, mm. it's kind of funny because that's a <laughs> great story. Funny. Do you ever have people do this thing? Or I think it's like something where they're trying to let you know that they're being for real. Like, they're not just like gassing you up. Sure, They'll sure. be like, oh, I love that one thing you did. But that other thing wasn't feeling it. And you're just like, mm. yes. cool, thank, yeah. thank you. Yeah, it, it'd just be yeah. like, it'd be like, I love that hat. Shirt's kind of whack. Just, yeah. just so you know, I'm being real. It's like, <laughs> thanks. I like my shirt actually, but like, <laughs> glad to know you don't. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I do yeah. get that a lot. Where people, unless you're like, Dutch, couldn't get through, couldn't yeah. get through the Tomorrow War or yeah. whatever. Like you were yeah. the best part of it. The rest of it stunk. I'm yeah, like, well, yeah. you don't have to say that. That's, but that's someone fine. trying to alpha you. Unless they're Dutch, that's just like a weird, like you know, like power move. Unless yeah. they're Dutch. Yeah, Dutch are, is a famously forthright culture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. they'll just be, they would just say like, I don't like that hoodie. I don't like that hat. Mm. And you just be like, thank you for the weird observation. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I'm going to turn it back on Dutch. I don't like the movie Dutch. Yeah. Mitch. They're devastated over there. Ed O'Neill's worst performance. <laughs> <laughs> that is another weird movie. 
Yeah. yeah. One hour photo in Dutch. Those are references yeah, That's like a today. double How feature. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Dutch uh, was like with those late John Hughes films. It was like Curly Sue. I think it was like the last big yeah. one or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's the Pepsi kid, the Pepsi girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. That's yeah. right. The Pepsi girl. Curly Sue. Oh, my God. She was the Pepsi girl. That was like when, what's his favorite? I'm freaking his name right now. Red hair, uh, robot chicken. Seth Green. Yes. I like the way he was the rally's ka kid. Oh, oh right. Yeah. And Bill Murray also threw him in the trash. Did oh, that's that right. Story? SNL. Yeah. Yeah. It was just kind of funny. <laughs> uh, kind of makes me like, like, well, I shouldn't say. We'll get. We'll be makes the podcast. You like trash cans. Uh, <laughs> makes me like trash cans. I was gonna say. Yeah, we'll we'll have, say diplomatic. On. <laughs> we'll we'll have Bill Murray on the podcast, and we'll be the ones that finally get in trouble for having Bill Murray on. Yeah, something. exactly. Yeah. Um, well, Seth Green's never gonna come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, how do you eat your skyline chili? Do you put it on? Great question. Spaghetti, or do you put it on rice, or do you just eat it as a bowl? Well, of chili? Okay. So I go kind of the cla- well, like the classic things there are like the coney and the three way. Yeah. Three, the three way is spaghetti with chili on top and cheese. And I go, you can also go four way with chili, or it would be spaghetti, chili, onion, and cheese. Or you can go five way, which is spaghetti, chili, beans, onion, and cheese. And the bean to me, bean's fine, but I don't do that. It, um, I, yeah. I, I, I get the four with onion and I'll get a coney with no mustard. That's like my it. go to. Uh, and I used to, when I drank more well, soda, I would get half Mountain Dew and half Dr. Pepper mixed together. What wow. a combo. There's Dr. Pepper MD. I recommend it. If you make it at home, <laughs> if you go two thirds uh, Mountain Dew, put ice on it, then slowly pour the root beer, or not the root beer, sorry, the Dr. Pepper on top of it. It uh, it creates a a, a nice uh, separation. Oh Just wow! FYI, yeah, the Dr. Pepper <laughs> MD. I think we're gonna have to try Dr. Yeah. Pepper MD. Yeah, this yeah. is great. Do you use do you say doctor and MD or is it a funny kind of repetitive thing? I say Dr. Pepper MD just because it sounds like a medical name. It's yeah. it's yeah. great. I love it. Yeah. I do. I, I'm interested in trying two great sodas that, that good, I don't yeah. usually drink. Oh, and they get oyster crackers there, which are really good. It's a nice little salty ass oyster cracker. I'm crackers. a big oyster cracker guy. Yeah. F- from clam chowder, of yeah. course. I was disoriented the first time I saw oyster crackers because I was like, they're like I thought so there was gonna be some oyster connection. But mm. it's not it's just because of their affiliation with Clam chowder, right? Is that what uh, it is? I guess that would Certainly make sense because they don't look like a clam shape, kind of, not really. Like, they're more like a like pentagon. They're like pe- pentagon crackers. Yeah. yeah. Scary. I like putting them on their side, cracking them open, and then just having the thin side land on your tongue and it just melts away. How fun it. is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. It's like an activity. It's like, yeah. you know, add an activity to it. Like when you. When you, you I mean, you just you, planned, you when, just planned next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> when you flash cram up into the shower, it's, 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 like a, it's like a game you play, you know? <laughs> I remember one time I was uh, I was PAing on a thing and uh, and I had a walkie talkie and oh, such a stupid thing. How did I do this? I was peeing. Oh, I know what I did. I was peeing and I thought this is like a game I would play to make peeing more fun. You yeah. know, it was like a normal toilet, not a urinal. And I was like, I'm gonna lean over and flush it while I'm pissing and see if I can beat the flush. Like that's, you know, like finish peeing before the fun. flush ends. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So I do that, and I've got like a winter vest. This was in Cincinnati, and I leaned over to hit the flush, and the fucking walkie-talkie fell out of my pocket and went right into the toilet, and was like, it's going around in circles. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit! But then like, a few things were going on. It was still like flush swirling. Right. The walkie-talkie wasn't going to disappear, but it was getting like drenched not only by the toilet water but my active peeing. And then, but I was like, I got to get his out of it because it's like it's the fucking walkie-talkie for the production. I need it, and also like, uh. And then also, so anyway, so I was like, ah. And just like grabbed it while peeing, oh, kind of like, yeah. kind of like pinched it, and then like grabbed the walkie talkie, and I was like, Ugh, and just put it in the sink. I was like, I got this pee covered fucking walkie talkie <laughs> in the sink, and I was like, How do I wash this shit off? I got to get it more wet to wash it off. So I was yeah. like, dabbing paper towels all over and trying to like I'd do a quick rinse, like when like when you're trying to heat up pizza or something like that, you douse it under the water real quick before you microwave it. Maybe you don't do that, <laughs> but anyway, so I was like doing that, and then after that, I was like, Okay, this looks normal and it's dry. And then after that, the little like fucking numbers or whatever radio frequency was on, it all looked like a all fu- it just looked fucked up. It looked like when Predator's punching in his bomb codes in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I had to like, what I was doing, it was like we were shooting some outdoor thing and I was like the lookout for like a car's coming or like, you know, I'd try to stop the car, but if I couldn't, I'd have to be like, yo, car's coming because it was like an active street. And I went down there, but then my walkie talkie didn't work anymore because I dropped in the toilet and peed on it and it was just like, <laughs> And then, uh, so I just had to like shout at cars and luckily there was no big like accident with a car coming through. Um, but then at the end of the evening, uh, I just never used a walkie talkie again because it didn't work. And then you just put it back in the pile. Well, I, I had to hand That's it to like whoever the second AD was or something like that. And I was like, and it was, luckily it was raining a little bit. And I was like, got a little wet when it rains. So I think it might be, I don't know if it's acting a little funny. Or he's like, oh, good. Thanks for letting me know. I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, it smells like piss too. <laughs> oh, man. 
ADs wow. always they sniff the walkie talkie yeah. before they you know before they take it back. Um, I laughed right then. I don't know if like booger came out of my nose or not, but it's video, so <laughs> Ooh, we can either you can, you highlight can it or or or, or 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 yeah. never show <laughs> it. Promo it or cut it. It's up to you. <laughs> Yeah, whatever uh, you thought. Like. I don't think I don't think anything flew out. I'm just like, do I have a dangler now? You do not now. Oh, you're, okay. you're, you're good. You're good. good. That's the one. That's one of the yeah. worst. If it was just audio only, I'd let I'd say dangle away, but but like <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Andre was paing on one hour photo. Wow, is that true? No. <laughs> you got me. But I, have, but, I, but I have used one hour photo you think services. You was PAing on one hour photo from like 1997 we or whatever were making, the fuck We've been making connections all episode. It's, I'd be it's like, one wow. hour photo 2000s. It's got to be. I don't say I have no it's idea what's going on. 02. 02. Okay. Yeah. Damn, you're good with numbers. Yeah. I just one after another. We got a regular, <laughs> we got a, a regular Krumholtz on our hands. <laughs> Num threeers. Uh, it's, uh, star. Mark Romanak. <laughs> Roman, did Romanek direct the pilot of that of num num three years? Was that was oh, that? I was saying uh, one hour photo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, I Romanek, believe it was him. Yeah, of course he Romanek did that. And you know where Romanek went to school? Ithaca College. Mitch. Well, that's crazy. That is kind of like a Harold. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch, you know what's a pain? Prepping meals, Ugh. cooking for yourself. Well, Ugh. Factors delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. Wow. Factor has over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, plus veggie, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for, Wags? Get started today and have a feel-good week of meals ready to go. These are two-minute meals. Fuel up fast with Factor's restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever you are. Snacks, smoothies, and more. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. Sign up and save? That's right. We've done the math. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale options done easily. Flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. No prep. No mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat. So there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Head to factormeals.com slash doughboys50 and use code doughboys50 to get 50% off. That's code doughboys50 at factormeals.com slash doughboys50 to get 50% off. Do it. Anyways, we should get to the food, but also you should tell your story. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but right now we get to talk about Subway. <laughs> so Subway, this is the, we've revisited this a few times, Mitch. This is actually Subway 4, which is one of those things. I saw Subway 4 in my outline. I was like, what are we doing? First one was when you had Jared on. That's right. We, <laughs> and then we try to get Jared. Then we try to get him the back. apology episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we our... tried to get Jared on, but he was in prison. Yeah. So that was kind of just bad gotcha. planning on our part. Yeah. And the... then you had on Bucky and Vinny from the 90s campaign of the New York cab drivers. <laughs> That's <was> right. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the sub club <laughs> stamp cards. <laughs> How on earth do you remember what Bucky a and Vinny? Because <laughs> I had a friend who used to work at Subway in high school or whenever. It was. Yeah, like, and it, but he, they had all these fucking Bucky and Vinny stickers that we just got. Yeah. And uh, so we, we had all these Bucky and Vinny stickers, so it stuck with me. Bucky and Vinny, I, like, very slightly remember. Yeah. It oh, is... Pastrami, all right, or whatever they were on about. But there was also that heartburn commercial where they're like, I was going down 40th and Broadway, and the Pastrami Roy catches up with me. And then it's like, this guy says, Tech Pepsi, Pepsi AC. And he goes, what, are you a doctor? And he goes, yeah. Which was not a Subway <laughs> commercial, but it was very Bucky and Vinny adjacent. Yes, Do you yeah. remember that? I don't know what the fuck well, there was, was also some the heartburn thing. There was also the MTV cab driver. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of cab driver uh, media, I feel like, back yeah. in the... Yeah, there was cab confessions or whatever oh, yeah. on HBO. Yeah. Used to mm -hmm. be more zeitgeisty, mm -hmm. pre the pre rideshare era, yeah. and it was like and New Yorkers were like, ah, being in a cab is crazy, right? Yeah. And so it was like one of those things that was, yeah, there was a lot of tropes. Well, it was like one of those pockets in life, like an elevator ride or something like that, where you might hear some just insane bullshit from a stranger. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so it had a little bit more of a novelty to it. But now we're just inundated with insane bullshit from strangers nonstop. It's true on the internet, so it's, it's taken a little bit of its. You know, it's taking the sheen away from it a little Give bit. Give me back that taxi yeah. driver bullshit over the fucking internet bullshit. Yeah. Ta cabbies are fun to listen to occasionally. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like I look. I would always like talking to cab drivers. You know, I like talking to strangers. But if I get like a ride, look, but the only so this is the, the only thing we point out. You like talking to strangers more than friends. <laughs> <laughs> the only situation I would find my, myself in a cab though would be like, I mean, if I like the, the limited times I was in New York City, mm-hmm. and so it was just like, and and the, the most of the time you're not captive for long enough to have much of a conversation right. unless you're going mm-hmm. to the airport or something. Um, I. My, I, I've talked about this before, but my experience with Subway, I think maybe the first time I had it was on a vacation, mm-hmm. and it was either Florida, it might have been to Vegas, and we st- well, pulled over and like, while we were driving somewhere, so I think maybe Vegas, and we got Subway, gotcha. and I was a D'Angelo's boy growing up, why, because you now have been to D'Angelo's, and you- The R&B and, singer. Was that? What did you say? <laughs> The R&B singer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, I was also a D'Angelo fan. <laughs> but well, the most carefully framed music video. Yeah. Just like his pubes are just, you just barely that v, below. That v. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, shout out to Usher who had a great Super Bowl performance. Wow. Uh, who, who did you root for in that? In that, that's like a. Uh, during That's, the halftime performance? Or? Yeah, yeah. Were you rooting for Usher? I, guess, or I was Chris, like, I just yeah. got the 9-11 birthday. I'm rooting for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's kind of a like a better like a lesser of two evils with with uh with right the Chiefs and the 49ers for you I guess I liked when Small Jonathan came out there and was like yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> D'Angelo my understanding is that he had a lot of body image issues after that video because he was so really? like objectified mm. and he was just like it was one of those things where you like I you he was kind of, you know, taught being pretty candid and pretty open years later about like that really like messed him up. Well, he didn't want to have his shirts off. They just were doing two music videos that day, and they're like, "Someone's got to be shirts. Someone's got to be skins." And he just, <laughs> he was just like, "One go right." He's like, "All right, I'll take my shirt off. Fine." John Popper was actually the shirt. He was yeah. like, Phew. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it's, it's bringing you and you and I back to like middle school PE, Mitch. <laughs> no, wait, 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 that would actually would have been like summer camp shirts versus skins. I was always I so happy to get any shirts. Time, I, anytime they were like, your skins, I was like, are you fucking shitting me? I no. gotta, like, and then like John Popper, you'd have to run around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm... <laughs> Fuck, that was good. <laughs> it was really good. Um, I would, I would always like we're doing we're shirts for skins. I would do the quick shirts, like I do one of those. Like, yeah, I'd be the shirts kid. I would try. I, I remember there was just like a few times. I think it was like gym class, which is also insane to think about. Like, yeah, boys, you're gonna play, and then also some of your shirts and some of your skins, which is that was probably Mister Tag, my gym coach. What a fucking. <laughs> and you realize it's not even related to teams, and you're just like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking. <laughs> Your gym coach was named Mr. Tag? Yeah, Tag Leary. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk shit about my gym coach that I didn't like that much. Okay. He was a friend. <laughs> he... <laughs> he finished that's out with the didn't like much. <laughs> 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 like, well, that's... He was a friendly enough guy when I got older, but yeah. I didn't play baseball because I'm either. Yeah, I didn't right. like him that much. Um, but, he, but he's a very friendly guy. Whatever. John Popper Fuck. was one of the first uh, sightings I saw in LA early on. I was like, Really? Yeah, I was in Santa Monica and I was like, Look at this John Popper looking. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. shit. <laughs> That's a big one. He was sitting outside on, like, whatever, just in front of a building. Like, literally littered in harmonicas like he always has with that vest. Was he really? Yeah. Like, it was like, hard, that's why I, like, thought, like, oh, look at this John Popper looking dude. Then it was just him. And I was like, well, that explains <laughs> it or whatever. But, but yeah, he was outside, like, I don't know, hamming it up with some people. That's yeah. he right. Must, he must love it then. Because, like, if you're going to wear the uniform. Yeah, like you're yeah. not. He's not trying to be incognito. Right, I've heard right. he could be a little cantankerous, but also, I don't know, he's mm. a big guy, and probably people give him a lot of, you know, I don't mm. know if people give him shit. Probably living in the spotlight, Wags. He, uh, it's not It's not easy. Uh, I love you saying cantankerous. Why? I don't know. It's just a great word. You don't be- I know the word. I you know words. You don't bust the big vocabulary all that often. The cantankerous is a big vocabulary word? That's a great word. word. <laughs> That'd be on a calendar. You don't bust out the big vocabulary so often. <laughs> Here's another word for you. Condensation. Wait. Did you mean condescension? Condescending. <laughs> <laughs> I meant condensation. It's raining outside. That's precipitation. <laughs> On the inside don't of the windows. Don't condensate me, man. <laughs> That was probably a joke in Elemental. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. I can, I know words, all right? Everyone back the fuck off. Yeah, Mitch knows words. Relax, Fucking everyone. Bullshit. Anyways, that's a great sighting. I was giving you sighting. a compliment, and I, you thought it was backhanded. It, well, I guess I, guess I got a little cantankerous with you. Sure did. Um, 
anyway, shirts versus skins is bad. We got to do a Doughboys episode where it's shirts versus skins. <laughs> but we got to talk about my point about Subway was that I had the Subway on the road. Yes. I love D'Angelo's. You now like D'Angelo. I do like D'Angelo. Yeah. 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 It's it's good. It's a good. It's. A good. I was thinking about D'Angelo the other day. I was thinking about how much more I liked it than the other place we went in. Yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> I was watching the video. Um, I, I no, I was thinking how much the I, I liked it more than the other place we went. The 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 beef place we went in in Boston. Kelly's roast beef. Kelly's yeah. roast beef. I, it was just better than mm. Kelly's roast beef, and I had the opposite expectations. Why would they call it Kelly's Heroes? Because that would be a good play on words. That is good. That is that's a good point. A yeah. wasted opportunity. Roast beefs are there are Boston. There's bar pizza to yeah, the south. Yeah, you can figure that shit's gonna be in the sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're right, <laughs> but beefs fans will there's there's come, come to Willie's <sighs> Cheese's Pizza. I mean, that's <laughs> there's beef fans. There's a there's a there's a Facebook group that will be so mad hearing this, and that group also their politics align well, we, hang kind on, of with the right. <laughs> There's a Facebook group out there. Let's let's reel it back. <laughs> Are you wait? You said you said hero. Wait, like, what is the 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 Cincinnati regionalism? You say hero. You say grinder. You say hoagie. Uh, probably submarine sub, sandwich. Probably sub, sub sandwich. Yeah, sub, sub, we do yeah. Sub. I don't know. Yeah. That's just because there really isn't one. And Subway is the most like prominent sure. thing. There's like Penn Station and Cincinnati. I mean, that's not re- just to there, but like yeah, sub sub sandwich probably. Sub, I did think sub, I do think became more us. national partly because of yeah. Subway. That's a good observation. Yeah. yeah. And there was a funny thing. There's a convenience store called Stop and Go in Cincinnati. Shout out Stop and Go in Clifton Heights. And oh, yeah. uh, but there's a police substation in it, like Cincinnati Police Substation in it, not the sandwich. But uh, on the outside of the building, it says Cincinnati Police Substation on it. And someone was one of my favorite little bits of street art that I saw. It's probably just like a one time person, but they just we pasted a big fucking hoagie next to the police substation. That just <laughs> says Cincinnati Police Substation, and it just looks like they saw So people sandwiches. were walking in there, yeah. like, trying to get a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so Subway is the second largest chain restaurant in the world. McDonald's is wow. one. Mm-hmm. Starbucks is three. Uh, it's It was the largest for a time, but it's Number four, Jollibee? I'm not sure where, you know what, I, it's not Jollibee, but it, it's, it, I'd have to look it up. I think number four might be KFC. KFC is like okay. huge in China. So Subway for me, when I tried it early on, I was like, D'Angelo is great. Subway, this sucks. I think I got a meatball sub the first time I tried it. Um, I loved Subway when I first had it. And all I would get was meatball subs. Because I was like homeschooled from like fourth through seventh grade. And me and my wow. brother would wow. just go up to Subway all the time and get meatball sub- subwiches. We'd get subwiches. Uh, <laughs> but the guy there, the manager, is the same dude forever. It was always like this one like manager and then like punk rock kids or whatever who worked there. I was little, but it's like, they look crazy. Yeah. But like, but then they would call us the meatball gang when we go up there. That's like, oh, the meatball rules. gang's here. And then I would get, I remember, uh, my older brother Adam would get like you know stuff on a sandwich, and I would just want meat and cheese. And then he got stuff on. I remember I got hip to lettuce, like oh, okay, lettuce is thing. So I'd always put lettuce on my fucking meatball sandwich. Oh my god! Yeah, it would just be sauce and lettuce. That's I, thought, wow. I thought it was like sophisticated to get like a topping. Yeah, that yeah. was a dumb. That's a dumb kid move. That not yeah. to not to insult younger yeah, you, yeah. but that's that's a uh, that's. I mean, I think that I also didn't. I got like meatball and cheese, and yeah. D'Angelo just did. D'Angelo did just such a great version of that yes and then i so i I, and then when i went to college there was a basically like a uh, it was like a fake subway but it was subway style that was in the building i was in so i ate it all the time and then when i got out here there was one right around the corner from my house so i ate subway quite a bit and i grew to like it because you put on a bunch of toppings and you make it your own thing also the bread got like wider the well, bread also, got they used better. To have, they used to do a V cut across the top, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then, and that was much better, especially for the meatball sub, because they'd make like a bread canal and load in those yeah. eight meatballs and whatever, and that was good. But then somewhere like late nineties, early two thousands, they switched it to just cutting the goddamn hoagie bun like a hot dog. Yeah. And it's just like, no, man. I sorry, Subway, you're fucking up. This has been going on for like twenty something years now. Why do you have your sub sandwich like a hot dog? Yeah. Because it is like so lopsided bread heavy on one side of the bite. One yeah. like hundred percent. The, the yeah. ratios of like meat and cheese and toppings to like bread and how they go down your in your mouth is just like so out of whack. Yeah. It'd be like making a sandwich with two slices of bread and then just putting all your meat and shit on one side. Yes. The yeah, V I, the V yeah. cut is was key, and that's that's a, like that's a great point that they yeah. they should not have gotten rid of that. I don't know if they were just like trying the not to V-cut. waste product. Is that what it's called? The V cut. Yeah. yeah. I know what you're going to talk about. I know it. Well, talking about the oh. you're going to talk about this clock. That's not what I was going to talk about. It's not. No. <laughs> but I should. But we should address the clock because this timer is insane. The last episode we did, 
Is that a I was bomb? like, I was like, we're running. Yeah, eventually, <laughs> we're it's 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 how many times Nick, Nick and I have bombed on the uh, on Amazon. <laughs> just ticks up once per six fifty three from my from my no. Rate. So here's the issue, and I don't know which of the headgum honks uh, went to Spencer Gifts and bought this joke timer. Uh, as a prank for the Doughboys. I can, I can picture this it, though. This timer. The headgum hunk hon- walking into Spencer's gift. <laughs> this is pretty funny. This will be funny. <laughs> this shit's <laughs> actually pretty funny I in bet Liger's going to cry. When I, I give oh, shit. Dude, bad timer. Is that a... Is that, that's Cartman. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God, man. Cartman's so dude, funny. Dude, Cartman's wild. I love Cartman. He's random. Dude, I wouldn't want to be friends with him, though. I would like He'd be weird to be friends with. Um, dude, my boy from t- Kicked from Decade. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> this t- Okay, this timer is insane. So we had a timer for the, to, to clarify for everyone. Last week, I get we were in, why you almost didn't talk about it. Yeah. Well, this wasn't what I was going to talk about <laughs> specifically, but the, I was going to say. So this timer is it like I assumed we had this new timer last week. I assumed like every timer that I, I have ever encountered in my life, it was hours, minutes, seconds, mm-hmm, right? Mm, mm. And the other thing about the timer is, and you can see me looking at it here. But like I'm not I'm not drilled into this timer. I'm not like locking eyes with the timer, right? Sure. I'm just sort of like stealing a glance, you know? It's like you I see I can feel it every time we do yeah. it, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I just do a quick glance just to see where we are in time. Sure. I did not realize that this timer works with just just has minutes and seconds. So I'm just kind of glancing over there just trying to make sure we're at time. At a certain point it says like 100. Zero, zero. I assume we're at the hour mark. We're at 100 minutes. So we're an, an hour, hour and 40, 40 minutes, minutes into the podcast. Yeah, yeah. You're getting mad. Our guest is getting restless, understandably. Uh, Emma and Casey are like, what's going on? I'm just like cl- locked into like, we're doing great on time. It's only the hour mark. We're not even at the segment yet. We're doing great. And I had a lot of stuff going on. I was You had a lot of about, stuff going on. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, it was the timer was off. I do owe you an apology. And I owe our guest, Emily Oshita, an apology for keeping them so long. And I, I owe our staff an apology, as always. And I also owe Andre an apology for getting into this now. Rob Lowe, um, of course. Rob Lowe, yeah, big time. <laughs> this is, but but this is like you understand how I could be disoriented by this, and uh, you understand that this is like completely foreign to what I was used to, timer wise. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm watching uh, the Jake Johnson podcast <laughs> behind you. <laughs> We're here to help. I think like that looks like Wally, and on the, the there he is. There's Jake. This that is looks the, like a special episode where we just need. reference visuals you can't see, even if you're <laughs> watching the video version. It's like people just listen to the audio version. Have always been fucked over when we talk about stuff you can only see. But yeah. on this one, we're gonna make sure you can't even see it when you're watching the video version. Casey, will you tilt? Will you tilt the camera so that they can see this? Yeah, yeah. So, all right, here we go. There, there, this is this is what I'm watching right now. Yeah. Which this by is the a way, real Oz like look behind the curtain. <laughs> Except use code Doughboys with Factor Meals, not that. <laughs> yeah, don't use that code. Also, if you ever watch, if you ever are watching the podcast and you see me go, that's me waving to people that are coming in or leaving. That is basically what that is. It's not just your enthusiasm for greetings. <laughs> yeah, just, it's not me, just it's not me up. remembering I'm on camera and waving to people watching at You're home. Practicing for the next time you see QT at the Vista. <laughs> <laughs> We we got to uh, fix some things. We got to get a new timer, <laughs> and we got to get that TV off because this is this is so distracting. I'm not that distracted. I'm not distracted. You're not that distracted. You just keep verbally referencing. I mean, it I mean, a joke show. about it. I can I cannot pay. T- I'm not watching silent TV instead You're of you. You're locked in. Well, get the shades. You want shades in here? I would love to get shades in here. That does not address the timer issue, but it's an improvement. <laughs> Dear God, I can only imagine what the fucking headgum people think of you. Um, <laughs> you need bananas, uh, a, a timer that has hours on it, and shades. You're a freaking dork. There should be more fresh fruit in the kitchen. <laughs> it's a reasonable request. Dear God. Everyone here at headgum is lovely to us. I, I had two drinks, now I went through both of them. Uh, should we t- do you want to take a break and get a get a drink? Is Some it water? is it I could just go grab it. I can go grab it. Okay. Uh, then we'll keep it going. <laughs> we don't we don't go to breaks anymore. People have also can you bring been the GoPro us... into the kitchen just so people know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> people have also been mad at us because we don't go to breaks anymore. They say it's jolting. What? That we don't because I don't throw to a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like better... they don't know what's going on? He's mad now. I shouldn't have brought this up. <laughs> I, I am mad. I shouldn't have brought it this up. This is gonna split your audience, guys. It's gonna divide them. I you just brought, knocked over. I knocked Navi over figure. one of the Navis. <laughs> They're all like, "Say Navia." <laughs> uh, Jolly Bee, by the way, the number fifty-two chain in terms Ooh. of number of locations yeah. worldwide, uh, just after Wing Street and Chili's, <laughs> and just before Five Guys and Waffle House. That makes sense. Yeah, but uh, number four is 
Oh, I, you know what? I'm not familiar with them. This is a Chinese chain, uh, Mixu Ice Cream and Tea. Ooh, and then number five big is big K- in China. No, it, that's what I'm well, guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One might intuit. And number five is KFC. Oh, okay. Jamie yeah. freaking out as Emma's gone for just a few seconds. That is true. Oh, thank you very true much. True love. We are truly too attached to each other. Aww. I'm sure I'm but- butchering the pronunciation on this one, but um, it, it translates to Honey Snow Ice City. That sounds delightful. Oh, I thought it was Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we go back. To, we're we're back at Subway. Yeah. Not one of our. At, uh, I'm gonna look on Redfin for a Honey Snow Ice City. It sounds fucking fantastic. <laughs> Um, we have, uh, so anyway, you mentioned Jared earlier. This podcast has been going on for long enough where our first review in 2015 was before the Jared yes. scandal. Mm-hmm. Which, yeah, I already didn't like him. This is true. You know, you, on the episode, yeah. you're like, yeah. I don't like that guy. You thought yeah. there was something funny about him. You ended perf. up being right. Well, also, it's not impressive. Everybody wore fucking baggy pants in the 90s. <laughs> like, if anybody held up their pants from the 90s, you'd have the same effect. So, not impressed. They're coming back. <laughs> The big jeans were fun. You could just tell he was a guy who was like, I lost weight. Now it's my time to shine. I'm like, yeah. fuck you, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I lost weight in college and I didn't get over the mental hurdles of it and never had fun with it. So fuck you for thinking you're cool. That's what I thought. You yeah. know, so maybe been an internal stuff a little bit, but I was pretty sure that he was a perv. <laughs> <laughs> didn't shock me. Didn't shock me. <laughs> No, you're 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 basically never going to fix your problems just by changing your body. It's a lesson I've had to relearn throughout my life. Yeah, you know? I mean, I wonder. He's probably jacked in prison now. Is my guess right? <laughs> he's probably hitting the shower nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about? Uh, oh, I forgot the name of body it. crema. Body crema. <laughs> yeah. Body is he, the word. He, I'm having? I've heard he can get it from a, f- a foot long out. <laughs> so stupid. Sorry. <laughs> I loved it. One thing about Subway is it is it has been exposed as something of a Ponzi scheme that entraps sure. largely immigrant franchise owners into uh, these debt cycles, mm. and it's it's like kind of a nefarious. All these businesses suck; they're all run by monsters. But this is one of the more ne- nefarious and predatory Monsters, franchising Inc. models. One hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> Went to Monsters U, and now they work at Monsters Inc. Yeah, it's funny. Did that, I, wait, th- did I ever tell you my pitch? No. I think it's a good pitch for Big. Jerry, you trying to get him in something? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he could have a cameo in this, Austin. Honestly. Monsters Penitentiary. Isn't that a good idea? Oh, it's like a prison cemetery? It's like a prison Monsters. It's the Monsters franchise. Monsters uh, Inc. they had. Then they had Monsters So this was like the monsters that you can't, you can't. Monsters Penitentiary. The monsters who are so bad, they're in monster jail. Oh, I had a cemetery into it. Like, I thought you were doing like a double play on words. Okay, anyway. (laughs) There's something to that, too. Monsters Penitentiary. I mean, the Penitentiary could be like a cemetery. That is also like, you know, in the monsters world, that could make sense. But what's challenging about Monsters University is that it's a college movie, but it because it's a it's a Pixar G-rated movie, it does not have drugs, alcohol, or body sex. Body crema. Uh-huh. Yeah, it does not have body crema. And and that that's the same sort of thing. Like prison movie, a very violent genre. How do you do the fun pri- kids version of a prison movie? That's an interesting challenge. Yeah, just call it time out. There you go. <laughs> There's your kid's prison movie. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I, you don't want to see- Monsters Penitentiary. You don't want to see Monster Crim, but also Penitentiary, I think a part of your issue here is like, yeah. Penitentiary is also, or, or, you know, adult-themed places. Sure. What's so, this called? Well, you just call it Monster Juvie. Monster Juvie. Monster Juvie's pretty good. Now we're talking. Monsters Juvie. Monsters. Then they can just get in trouble with slingshots and shit like that, you know? <laughs> but they're monsters. <laughs> But also, isn't being a this is my issue? With yeah, it. isn't being a monster? Isn't it good to be like scary and bad, or is this like a place for the ones that are like these monsters take it too far? I think maybe you learn through the course of the movie that these monsters aren't so bad after all. I do mm-hmm. say that it's so a, they get out for good the good service or whatever it's called. Like yeah, good yeah, behavior. time yeah. spent time or time spent. Yeah, uh, time served. I, time served. Thank you. I, I think that there is. I think that there is in this Pixar movie to show a bunch of. <laughs> Monsters and then have a human CGI'd Jared <laughs> <laughs> in the cell is very funny. Yeah. Uh, what do I think of the pitch? I don't love it. Okay. If this is Shark Fair. Tank. I don't know if I'd invest 100%. Sure. But I do think there's something to it. It just feels tif- it, it feels tricky in the way that Monsters U is tricky. It well, yeah, and that movie doesn't completely work. But mm. I do like the idea of taking monsters and putting them somewhere else. Monsters in prison is, I guess, that is fun. Yeah. Just and to- it could just toss in the prompts. AI will take care of it. We'll see how it works. <laughs> you know. Well, is- it can be it can be Mike and Sully. <laughs> 
wrongly convicted and they have to go to monsters penitentiary that's, that's fine. and then it's just like these guys are in trouble and they're like oh we're scared that the, all the monsters but then it turns out the monsters are all like well can you get sent to prison for not being people. scary enough you know what i mean like you know, yeah, like they're not cutting it oh that could be good yeah well that's what they find out that everyone else what in do there monsters is in there do anyway adjustment. ghosts obviously haunt the monsters just have to go out and just kind of be a dick the monsters like, scare children to steal their screams to power their city yeah. Um, and then they ultimately learn at the end that by making children laugh, that's an even more powerful resource. That's a harder job. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Nick and I, it's actually the same thing for Doughboys. It, like, it runs our homes. If <laughs> <laughs> When people don't react to us. <laughs> uh, I took us on, the, on, a, on another needless tangent. I apologize. So here's so my- So it wasn't the clock. It wasn't the clock that you were going to talk about. I had something I was going to talk about. <laughs> it was partly the clock, but it wasn't. It wasn't just. The it clock. was the fucking clock. It wasn't just the. Clock. Are we talking subway? Are we talking clocks? Are we talking mystery subject? What are we doing? We're talking subway. <laughs> Here's my general note, and this is this is just an, a note for all chains, but for subway specifically. Can I see the menu without clicking on a location? Do I have to put in my zip code to see what's available to order? At I a hate restaurant? all the digital menu shit. I agree. Like, me like that's good as like an addition, but I don't know why you're getting rid of like physical media. At, yeah. the, at the place or like when a menu news are off like mcdonald's now has all the fancy fancy but like digital menus you're like oh yeah you're about to like the third thing down you're like why, why am i looking at a fucking chicken sandwich getting wet now or something you know what i mean yeah, it's yeah. like some weird like lettuce tossing through water and you're just like i can't i just need i'm here you got me i don't need yeah. i don't need the i don't need the i don't need the digital pageantry just like let me read it's very frustrating and also i think that a part of it is that they like Hey, some of this stuff isn't available at this location or that location, but like, let me find that out on my own. Yeah, Show me what me the regular menu available. is. Yeah. Well, also a lot of places now you go to some Shake Shacks or something like that. Not just them, but a lot of places. I went to one in New York and like, you didn't even like deal with a human. There was a bunch of humans in there oh, ru yeah. running around doing whatever they were doing, preparing, I guess, online orders. And it's just like bicycle messengers grabbing. It's all, it's all Uber Eats. And just like eating there is just like a side effect or something. Yeah. No, we're, we're stone's throw from a, a relatively recent Shake Shack location mm -hmm. here in Silver Lake. That one has kiosk ordering. Yeah. And so it is a thing. I like, like when they ask there. for a tip too on the kiosk. It's oh. like, for what? I'm not trying to be a dick, but like, I just right. punched all the shit on your greasy ass screen before I touched the food. You know, whatever, not to get all germy about it, but it's just like, really? Okay, cool. And then, uh, and then I did all the work. I walked to the counter. Like, I, you know, like, yeah, they made it, but it's like, that's the bare minimum. Like, at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not trying to not tip someone, but like, I'm not going to tip a goddamn kiosk, like, like a fucking screen. Yeah. Like, like I, I, at the end of the day, I, I paid to drive here and paid for this food and I did all the business. And then, uh, yeah, what am I, what nice am I to have a human for? interaction. I think yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah. right. I think that there's nothing. I think that that is like corporations being dumb. Yeah, and they, who does yeah. that go to? How do I even know who that? How that's allocated or whatever? It's you know? it's the shitty look. Look, we we always tip no matter the circumstances because we do this podcast, and that's like we understand that that's a that's a you know a, a on big your part podcast of the show ivory tower. I get it. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> don't be up here uh, looking down at everyone. Um, but no, but but I agree that tip culture has gotten out of control and it's yeah. become exacerbated by screens. Yeah, and yeah. it's become a, now an expectation that basically any interaction you are expected to yeah. you know add uh, add 15 to 20 percent yeah everything's yeah. like frontier airlines now yeah it, and and it's like there's <laughs> the thing that that also sucks is i get exactly what you're saying you don't know where the money's going and so that becomes a thing of just like well i still feel obligated to do this and because in some cases it is going to them and in fact they're being paid sub minimum wage and that's re that's expected to supplement their you know their yeah their, uh, my argument their income. to that though which is true yeah but it's like they don't just live and breathe in that fucking restaurant, they got to go other places and buy shit too. And then they become prey to the same bullshit elsewhere. I fully agree. I'm not arguing all, with you. No, I fully like, agree. It's, it's a, the, 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 the whole thing is, is completely out of control and yeah, sucks. Yeah. It's a bad situation. That is one of these things where the, the, the boss can put it off onto the consumer. Can, yeah. Can pawn off their labor costs onto the customer. Uh, it's very frustrating. And I'm not anti-tip, but just this new, uh, no, it's, I get it's it. like transcended into this like stupidity zone or whatever. I totally got your point. Yeah. It, feel, it, it feels more when you're, when when you're dealing with a person, it just feels a million times better. And I also just to hand them cash. Well, also, nice. like, isn't it like the traditional idea of a tip is like good service? Like, of course you give a tip anyway, but like, yeah, yeah. you know, like, th but that's, you're already starting at below expectation. It's that's, like, I mean, this is a good, I think it's a great point. This is also just general yeah. America problem. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. this is, this does not have I don't have an issue with the worker wrong. there. You right. know what I mean? No, like, 100%. I used pizza places and like people just drop some bullshit in a cup, but I wasn't all salty like when they didn't give more for every, like, hey, I like, handed you napkins. How about three bucks? You know, it's like. No, like I, I think I think that there is. I mean, there, there's also the, the, it, that this thing of you. You also have it's just expected that you have to tip because 
the wages that they make at Shake Shack are so low that then also like. You but just have- to, just to be clear, I, I just hate the little people, and I want people that don't get paid well. <laughs> I want them to do poorly. I don't think they deserve anything better. I just want to make that absolutely clear. So there's I, no, I, no I misunderstanding know, what I'm saying. I know exactly <laughs> what you're saying, but this is like this is another corporation issue of like. Oh, you're expected to because then this like gives them a living wage. But then also like we're doing a thing where it's all computers and we're trying to like make our business make more money. Yes. Yeah. And it's not fair to the customers or probably the people who work there. Right, Service right. is worse for the customer. It's probably a worse experience for, experience for the employee. You're absolutely yes. right. And then yeah. everyone is being squeezed except for the, the And then the also tips coming so clearly the through – they ha- they have note of every tip you give and yeah, how much are yeah. they taking yeah, and yes yeah. I, I, it's a mess the world is a is a fucking mess but yeah this is this is specifically an america issue but it it does suck and it it's a frustration we it's we this often reminder have. that when we think about like the podcast is bad the yeah. subject is bad we well, you know it sucks it's I mean, bad. The, guy, the guy flipping burgers was doing it over zoom <laughs> so, <laughs> if i ever get my fucking food <laughs> speaking of subway uh, we always <laughs> offer the team lunch as part of like, hey, we're going someplace. Yes. Do, you, do you want anything? Uh, mm-hmm. This this was the rare week where everyone said no. Nobody <laughs> every, wanted something. Every person declined. Yes, uh, except for the people, the three of us who were obligated to eat it for content. Yes. Nobody else wanted Subway. I uh, made the mistake of I got it yesterday for lunch because I was just like, I'll get it. party. I mean, <laughs> well, and then we, we usually do eat it in here the day of, and I should have yeah. just checked, but I was like, I need lunch. I know this will get here quick. I'll just do Subway. And then I ate yesterday. I have had stomach issues all yeah. day. And I'm wondering, I'm like, hmm, did this come from whatever? I guess mm. eating probably banana peppers or whatever didn't help me. Yeah. But I'm like, is this just fucking shitty Subway food that's giving me the rumblies more than anything yes, else? Yes, right. Um, but then I ate it. I came in here today feel my stomach was horrible. But I also had to eat these new things from Subway, which is the reason we did this episode. 100%. No, this kicks. is this is a topical thing. They're footlong sidekicks. They yes. have a Cinnabon footlong churro, the Auntie Anne's footlong pretzel, and the footlong cookie, uh, which I think is the one that everyone uh, was excited about. The cookies uh, what brought us here today. 100%. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also, we also got some other food, which we can just touch on real quick. Um, I want to shout out Amelia, who is a hero and picked this stuff up um, and then also made a separate trip in the rain to go find the cookie because it was not available at the first location. We should have put a kibosh. I guess she just did it on her own. Yes. So we didn't tell her to go do this. No. But I was just like. Spit in the food? (laughs) I hope hope she did. I hope she spit in our sandwiches. Yeah. Because I, when we got here, she had already gone off to get the cookie and it's raining and dangerous out. Yes. And just the idea to ever have to be like, Amelia got into a car accident because she went to get a fucking sidekick. I know. This is the most depressing thing I could think of. I would say if it was the cookie, it'd be worth it. If she got in a car accident getting the churro or the pretzel rod or whatever, it would not have been worth it. <laughs> we also got, Mitch, you got a, you got a tuna sub. Uh-huh. Um, Andre, you got a, a, a cold cut combo. I got the, I ordered the no bready bowl, which is a, I was like, I've had so many Subway sandwiches in my life. Why don't I try what they have? They've had their salads forever, but this is yeah. like a newer version of that. Um, unfortunately, it arrived in sandwich form. And because... <laughs> I wanted the no bready bowl as a salad. I specified all these vegetables, spinach, tomatoes, cucumbers, green peppers, black olives. Um, I also asked for extra sauce mm-hmm. uh, and two types of sauces. I asked for extra of both of these sauces because I'm thinking I'm like put, coating a bunch of iceberg lettuce. Instead, I got just like the wettest, most vegetable laden sandwich yeah, I've ever these had. The sandwich looked pretty swampy. It was disgusting. It was, you know what? It, it was like a meatball sub with lettuce on it, but it was like a more extreme version of that. I saw your sandwich and then there was a little cave next to it and Yoda was in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, saying that's how was, swampy no, he it was. was. He was in the cave next to the sandwich, Mitch. <laughs> saw right. a little X-wing being raised up and then dropping in there. <laughs> um, so, dude, you ate it after you saw the X-wing raise up and fall back in. You still ate the sandwich. <laughs> Hungry, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this su- the sandwich was awful. It was really, truly yeah. bad. And it was also inedible as a sandwich. I got right. a fork and, and ate the innards as much as possible, but it was yeah. like barely qualified as, as nutrition. <laughs> so if you translate that Yoda line, yeah. it'd be, I am hungry. That's the kind of thing he says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, your sandwich looked bad. I got, I got 
I try to get – yesterday I got one of my old classics and then today I got another old classic. The way that I grew to like Subway, it was around the corner from my yeah. old house, 645 South Citrus. Um, <laughs> right around the corner from uh, from Citrus, there was a – on Wilshire, there on Wilshire, there was a, a a fat burger. You say Wilshire? I I, I said it weird. Okay. Wilshire on Wilshire. Like when he's in New York and he goes to Houston Street. <sighs> I'm I say that I I say the street names correct now. I've been here for <laughs> I've been here for almost twenty years, Wags. It's wild. Twenty years next year. That's crazy. You're like yeah, Bill Simmons, <laughs> the Boston guy who's now an LA guy. He's also beefing with Pat McAfee. I saw. Oh boy, uh, Pat McAfee and uh, and Bill Simmons. Wow. It's like an alien versus predator sort of thing. It's like vape versus cigarette. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) It was very accurate. (laughs) Um, We want people to get mad at us this episode. That's what we're asking for. Uh, El Pollo Loco, Fat Burger, and Subway. I ate at Subway the most because... I like the other two, of course. When you course. first moved to LA, you mean? When I, well, yeah, and this is like a place that was, I mean, I probably ate at 7 Eleven the most, which yeah. was across the street. I used to go to 99 Cent Store. They had this focaccia bread and this old ham that I would get a lot. <laughs> it was, it was wow. like a pre made sandwich, or was no, it? No, no, I'd get it oh. separate. It was just like, yeah. That, that, <laughs> that's, that was, that was. I mean, like, that was, it was, you know, like $7 for a or $5 yeah. foot longs. They did a yeah. lot of. Oh, yeah. So, so I, I mean, like, I would get the $5 foot long, and I would, the way I grew to like Subway was turkey. Swiss toasted. Uh-huh. This is when the toasting came around. Yeah. Destroyed Quiznos. Yes. Um, onions and yeah, vinegar. Quiznos like our sandwiches suck, but we eat them up. <laughs> <laughs> then that, that was then they didn't have anything. Yeah. It was a replicable gimmick. And then the Subway just put toasting ovens in all their restaurants. Quiznos also had shitty drinks. They were just like warm twenty ounces. Yes, they, the, they, they, like, they do have bad drinks. Like Diet Pepsi, and and it would be like a weird one of those dumb Pepsis with a silver label. And yeah. like, I don't even know what this is. Yeah, the, 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 the Quiznos had a lot of problems, but now in hindsight, look, I grew to like it just because I got that turkey Swiss, onions, and and a ton of vinegar toasted. Yes, mm-hmm. and they they were toasting sandwiches at this point. Now Jersey Mike's makes a good sub sandwich. Yeah, they're the only good chain I think for sub sandwiches. Yeah, there's and they just you get blows, it Mike's way. Mike's way, they blow it. Out. I mean, it Mike's blows way. it blows it blows Subway out of the water. Yeah. That being said, I got another one of my favorites that I started to do as I went to to. Subway is a tuna sandwich. I got that with pepper jack cheese. Supposed to be toasted. I don't know if it was. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, uh, jalapenos, and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, banana peppers, which then I got in here and I couldn't barely eat any of it because I had so much hot stuff under my stomach. It's messed up. Yeah. But that was another go-to. And yesterday I got the buffalo chicken sub. Uh, all of all, Both of mine were on, on white Italian bread, and I did a uh, – it's basically like a buffalo. Like it comes with Frank's Red Hot and then uh, ranch dressing on yes. it. And then no, le- that's the same thing I got in my buffalo. Lettuce, chicken. lettuce, tomato, onion, and uh, banana peppers. That's what I did yeah. yesterday. And I'll say this: I ate the sub yesterday. I was like, "This is pretty good." I've had stomach problems since then, but I was like, "This is <laughs> this, this is like this is fine." For, right, you know, right. like this if you're this is like a work lunch and you, you got to eat quick. It's fine. And then today. The same thing, Emma. You had a bite of that tuna sandwich. You said you, you never tried good. it before. It's pretty. It was. Wow, it's, there you go. It's not. It's not a. It's not a bad sandwich because, and I think so much of it is like, you add a bunch of stuff onto it, and it's and it's not. You know, you can make it taste decent. With I all think the a lot of Subway is not bad. It's just not good. Yeah. It's not. It is not good. But the thing I do love there, which we talked about earlier, is just that I, I'm I'm a big proponent of. And I think it's way underrated. Is their cookies? The cookies, I think their cookies, cookies are, so good. are good. And this chocolate was a chip, oh, not chocolate chip oatmeal, but chocolate chip or oatmeal. Those are my two go tos. Those are so good. This was a smart call on your part, which is that we were getting the foot long cookie, and you got some regular cookies as a control group. Yeah. And I think the first off, how was your sandwich? It was good. I just got the cold cut combo with some whatever tomato and onion or something and avocado on it. It was like neutral. It was yeah. fine. But I tore some of the bread off just because the bread is like. That's the hassle. Like it's just like it's not that good. Yeah, it's so dense. And, and Jersey flavorless. Mike's bread is great. Oh, yeah. I mean, like that's, it. it's just it destroys yeah, it. Yeah. It laps it. Yeah, it's yeah. just easy. Uh, so the so we got the foot long cookie. We got some regular cookies. We also got the churro and the uh, and the pretzel. Um, I think we all preferred the actual cookies to the foot long cookie, Agreed. but we liked the foot long cookie. Yeah. Yes. It's so much thicker. You know what I'm saying? It is. Like, yeah. It's just like it just hits differently. Yeah. But. But uh, oh yeah, and we talked about this in there. I I didn't do this until a few years ago, 
I was in New Zealand and I went to Subway. As you said, it's one of the most popular chains in the world. It's true. And um, and I got cookies and they're like, let me heat them up. And I was like, oh, oh, yes, that's, I didn't think of that. And then I was like, that's, I'm doing that every time I go to Subway. So anyway, I recommend if you go to Subway, ask them to heat your cookies up. because it's really good. Yeah, that's a great call. We tried yeah. to heat one up today. You put it in for 20 seconds, was it? I, yeah, I fucked it up. I, I, because I didn't know, I'm, just, I'm not a sandwich artist technically. And then I put it in the microwave and I put it on the little like waxy, whatever folder they give you the cookie in you yeah. Know? yeah and then uh the little bag and then when i took it out there's literally smoke rising like you normally don't get stuff coming out of the microwave smoke coming out of it but yeah. um something i think, I, I think I, it was especially for 25 seconds I mean, yeah, it was not yeah. long i would say that the cookie was nearly on fire i guess yes, is what yeah I would there was dark smoke classify. coming out of the center of the cookie and i think it was because the oils caught whatever had a uh, combusted yeah, yeah. so uh, i guess only microwave for 10 seconds or use a toaster oven yeah it looks like it, 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 the cookie was being exercised. Yeah. It looked like, some, like some, an evil spirit was coming. I almost brought it. a toaster oven with me today, but I couldn't remember like if a Subway did toaster or microwave, because I think I've done both each time I've gone. So they, 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 they heat up the, the meat in the microwave, and then they toast <laughs> it, which is also already, yeah, you're yeah. like, Jersey Mike's has a flat top grill. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Like, what are, we, what are we doing here? Like, that's yesterday with the, the grilled chicken I had. I'm like, okay, this is grilled chicken that was heated up in a microwave and then dumped onto my yeah. sandwich. Yeah. It's not... It's that's not that doesn't cut it. It yeah. does, it's not it's not good, you yes. know. But I think that I think that the new foot long cookie that's a worthwhile addition and it stays in theme with subwayness. Like the cookies are already there. Why not make a foot long because it's the same ingredients, like you said, they're just trying to utilize whatever they already got. But then the Auntie Anne's thing the, uh, yes. that was awful. So that that's yeah. I was saying after if you're a kid after school, you go to you subway, you get a foot long cookie, that's fun. How fun yeah, is that's that? awesome. It's great. Yeah. You're yeah. back at you're a little kid, you're back in school again. You're thrilled. <laughs> you go and you get a foot long cookie. What a cookie. dream. What a dream. Yeah. This makes me feel a lot less worse for having to take my shirt off in gym class. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the damage? What's the damage on the foot long cookie? Five dollars? Great question. It was five dollars. Yes, okay. yeah. It was actually. I have the prices right here. The foot long cookie is five dollars. The pretzel is three dollars, and the churro is only two dollars. The pretzel they should give you three dollars to take that. Yeah, the pretzel. Yes, the cookie. I'd say is a success for Subway. Yeah. The other two huge failures suck. The the pretzel. I got it yesterday. That's the only thing I got yesterday. Mm. One one of the issues is is that it comes with a side of honey mustard. Which like why is that your one dipping sauce? What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Give me a give me a cheese dip. Now they're not going to yes. do that because they don't actually stock a cheese dip. So they're like, what what do we already have? And so it became honey mustard. But give me like, man, how about a yellow mustard? Option? Some body Let crema. Let me choose. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you? I, I had an idea yesterday. Yeah. Tell me what you think of this. I think that they could. I think this might be a. It's multi like Monsters Inc., but it's in a prison. <laughs> 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 I. It's not a Monster Inc. Monsters Inc. based idea. Though I'm trying to think of another Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. in the North Pole. I think that's more fun. That's pretty Monsters good. Um, I that'd be called Monsters Workshop. That's Monsters Workshop Monsters is pretty Workshop, fun. Monsters Workshop, Monsters Holiday, Monsters Holiday. I thought of this idea for to oh, sell Monsters at Monsters Vacation. Let's do Hotel Transylvania. Okay, we'll talk about it afterwards. <laughs> it's at called Monsters Ball. Actually, that's. that's <laughs> Monsters, monsters Ball. Monster. I was gonna say Monsters Cruise, but also Hotel Transylvania. Yeah, they actually yeah. won on a cruise ship in one of them. Gods and monsters. No, that's also. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, let me just say this idea. Sure, sure, okay. sure. It's At like movie... Monster Energy Drink. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> At a movie theater, you get a popcorn. You put butter on it. What's the issue? You get halfway through. Oh shit. There's no more butter on this popcorn. I'm supposed yeah. to toss the shit when you're putting the butter in it. I, you, you should toss it when you get in there. <laughs> but what if movie theaters sold a little side of butter, a little butter packet? Yeah. You don't get to get up and rebutter your popcorn. That's fun. It's a warm packet. It's going to stay yeah. nice and loose during the movie. Yeah. You, 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 you eat halfway through, you open it, you just pour it on your popcorn. That's a good idea. Yeah. Sell it for a buck. They should have something called bottom butter. <laughs> Bottom butter. I love bottom butter. Bottom is a great butter. Name. Bottom butter it probably already yeah. exists. But I don't know. Hold on a second. I, this it might be something. But it's to like edit a packet out. at the bottom of the bucket, like you're describing. Maybe this isn't a good idea, but I'll finish my thought. And then, but the heat of the popcorn dissolves the packaging, and it just. I love this. Yeah, it works. Bottom butter. Yeah. yeah. I think that we. I honestly think we may butter, have to. butter bombs. Little pieces of butter throughout the popcorn. Probably a better that, name. That yeah. melts butter as bombs. you fill up the yeah. popcorn. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah, that's good. How about it's you, heat activated? How about That's, here's an idea? How about you cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn container? <laughs> <laughs> kind of sneak your meat up there. 
All right, go, you continue. Pound off during Monsters University. <laughs> Here's the deal. Good that, luck hitting the shower from there. <laughs> <laughs> the AMC locker showers. Uh, Both Navi have fallen face for face first. Yeah, <laughs> we've killed the Navi over the course of this episode. Is this a Toy Story situation? <laughs> oh, man. They came to life just long enough to die. They they wanted to leave so bad that yeah, they yeah. risked getting seen moving and died. Yeah. Um, I uh, I. For our audio I, listeners, we have Navi figurines on the tables cares? in front of us. Can you see these in the video version? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Thank God. You, speaking <laughs> of butter, yes, that pretzel should have been more buttery. Each one I got two days in a row, it was st- like bad bread. It just tasted like a stiff, fucking horrible yeah. pretzel. That's what I was gonna say. You said more buttery. How about how about more pretzely? Yeah, it's not pretzely at all. It's just no. a, it's just a log of dough. It's yeah. got some pretzel themed aesthetics, but like it's not. Yeah, it doesn't taste like a pretzel. Like yeah. if someone was like, just put this in your mouth, you'd be like, yeah, okay, it's a piece of bread. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it tastes like a hot dog salty, bun. A little, yeah. a little salty bread. Yeah. Auntie Anne, shame on you. Yeah, I gotta I was say weak. it. I, was that, weak. I think this is, this is, look, I think it's probably like mostly someone's like, brand. I got Krispy Kreme and they bring you a fucking plain bagel. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's like the the it's Auntie Anne's fault. It's Subway's fault. But like, if you agree to this cross promotion, you got to make sure that your product is going to be well represented in whoever is going to take ownership of it. Yeah. And the footlong cookies are selling out like crazy. We yeah. found out. Yes, right. Yeah, Amelia had to go out and weather the storm to get one. Yeah. And I only go to Subway for the cookies. So you of can't course order that's the sell. cookie online. Was part of the issue. Mm, you can't like crazy. online order the cookie anymore because too many people are getting it. So you have to go to a physical. You physically have to go to the store to get it and hope they have it. Clearly yeah. a success. We yeah. thought the churro. If you got the churro, the churro by the time we had it was a little cool. Yeah, but we thought it was but pretty it's right. good. It was decent. It's it yeah, tastes like what a fine. churro from Subway should taste like. Right, like Emma, good enough. You know, would you heat up one of those churros? Can we try yeah, a, a warm one? Yeah, sure. Sure. There's, it's right next to. It's wise, right next wise, to watch. You hand it, hand her the churro, please. Apollo Loco has some pretty decent churros that's for fast food. That's, I mean, that's that. Yeah. I, I point I'm, that way because there used to be a Apollo Loco there, but now it's what is it, Green Bucket or whatever it's called? The oh, it's yeah, it's Sweet Green. Sweet Green. Yeah, I know. Um, the, uh, the Sunset El Pollo Loco gone. Yeah, another another brand that's hurting. Another local shop <laughs> moved out. <laughs> Here's my one note about the the churro, which I agree is is fine, and it's the the cheapest item on the menu. It is co branded with Cinnabon. Give me that Cinnabon dipping sauce. Mm-hmm. Right. Where's my sweet icing? Mm-hmm. Where's my where's my uh, where's my uh, my my little carafe of a uh, my my little ramekin of fletch crema? That, that's such a Cinnabon signature. The, that sweet white sauce, flesh, uh, the, the flesh crema. I didn't realize you said that. I was, I was watching the David Cross's podcast. So <laughs> Locked into other podcasts. <laughs> he looks like Michael Stipe. <laughs> and we're at the ninety-eight <laughs> minute mark. That's its own. Like that's like well, that's throwing me off. That's an hour and eight minutes. There was also a Mission Impossible commercial. <laughs> I mean, an hour, hour and a half and eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on top of it. <laughs> but see, that's the issue. Like, yeah. at a glance, it doesn't read in the same way. That's not how we're used to look at a time. Look, we're from America, were... we don't know how to count and read and shit. This exactly. is complicated. Just give me the normal. Give me, give us the normal. <laughs> give us the normal. Give us the normal. I'll bring back the old timer. Thank you, Casey. Don't talk about Celsius His... ever. <laughs> <laughs> The old timer that I think you have to have plugged in constantly. Not a good thing for for you, but <laughs> it's fine. It makes no difference to me. Can give, it back, it? give it back to the hunks. Take it down. <laughs> he's gonna be one of the hunks. Will be happy to go back to Spencer's gift. It's probably a fucking blast yeah. over there. I can get this uh, Cartman figure. <laughs> I was gonna say a tip for cookies at Subway. I haven't done it in ages, but I used to do it for a long time. Yeah, I would go in and I would say, "How much uh, does it cost for the broken cookies?" And, you know, I was living in that little box. Sometimes they're broken. Oh, sure. And two things would happen. Either they'd say, um, oh, here, just buy one cookie. I'll give you all the broken cookies for free. Wow. Oh, shit, what a surprise. And then I would take them. um, (laughs) Or they would just say, oh, I'll just give them to you. I'll just put them in a bag. And that worked for years. So I haven't done it in a while, so it might not work anymore. But it it worked forever. That's a great tip. I did it all through high school and college and for, for a while. I only stopped like maybe eight years ago doing that or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so you still are getting the Subway cookies. We got to try yeah, this Yeah, yeah, no, all the time. If I ever have like a special occasion or something like, like, like a, not like an occasion. Well, I guess, yeah, if I want, what am I saying? The microwave um, still smells you like do a burnt cookie. You so. so you get the bigger side? <laughs> oh, well, oh we're, we're both, I got my own little piece. But well, like, we get to play a game, God damn it. Right. <laughs> wow, that was I Whoa, that's pretty even. That's just pretty barely. even. Yeah, I think it's you like, win. It's like you the win on top of a building being tall. It doesn't really count, but right, it technically right. does. By the way, Jim not the most food-motivated dog, you but lo- has complete disinterest in the subway mm. churn. Yeah, no, no, right? no interest. You lost a length game. That's not normal for you. All right. <laughs> that's pretty good. 
That's you got fine. that wisdom toe. <laughs> <laughs> this is way better, warmer. Yeah. I mean, they microwaved it into more of a little chewiness, but or lack of chewiness. I yeah. should say more of a gumminess. But if, if these came out, if this if this came out warm, when we, I mean, the microwave really brings the flavor out. <laughs> that's, I mean, and they probably are just microwaving it. Is my guess. Mm. Maybe they maybe they use the toaster to to eat these up. This is this is definitely the pretzel is this the is worst. The issue. I can't believe how much cinnamon I got in my hands without <laughs> one so, bite. Do you see how shiny this shit is? Jesus Coated Christ. with cinnamon. It's like I just got lotioned up or something. <laughs> the pretzel is the worst. Body cream in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> we can figure out how to separate these There's favorite towels. Paper towels. There you go. The oh, pretzel okay, is cool. the worst by far. The pretzel is the worst. The churro is fine. I mean, we got to get to our fork scores for for, for the sake of time. Years. And then the cookie. The cookies. The cookies. Look a hit. at this. Cookie's good. You're like you got a fucking wood shop. <laughs> yeah, you got cinnamon all over your yeah. pants. I was just fucking, there the whole time. Whatever. This fucking like P Rose going into first base. <laughs> <laughs> this is a regular Tuesday for me. I don't care. So Andre, here's how this works. We'll each go around, give our closing argument on this visit to Subway, and end that by giving a score from zero to five forks. Mm. You're our guest. We'll begin with you. Your thoughts. Your fork score. Mm. So this is everything together. Yeah. I mean, if you want to rate individual components, feel free. I'm going to rate the cookies separately, just because, in all fairness, that's that's that was the sure that was the the thing of the day. Um, I'd give the big cookie three point five. Wow, you know, yeah, and then because it tasted like the cookie, just wasn't yeah. as good as the regular cookie. Regular cookie would have been a five. What would you give your sandwich? Eh. Well, expectations is met five, but like actual enjoyment, three two point eight. 2.8. Wow. 2.8 yeah. for us. Wow. And then of everything together. Yeah, including because, the cookies. Because the sandwiches, sandwiches, <laughs> the sandwiches um, were okay. They were as expected. I didn't think they were that good. Yeah. But that's as good as they are. So <clears throat> hard to say. You know, you can't go into like Fast and Furious and be like, it wasn't a Coen Brothers movie. It's like, well, you're a fucking idiot for thinking it would be. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, yeah. In fairness to what it is, <laughs> you know, like um, that. But the big dud, the big dud was that pretzel thing the pretzel rod whatever pretzel and the churro was like all right it's obviously what we just talked about and then, and then the cookie was good I, I, out of five i'd say uh, 2.5 maybe because it meets expectations times. and some mm -hmm. was below yeah so, mm -hmm. sure jeremy just jumped on the couch with me um <laughs> very cute just want to let you know um i think that's a very appropriate fork score um like I said, I didn't like Subway to start off. I was like, "What is this? This is no D'Angelo, you know. This is uh, this is this is nothing. This is not good." Then they started to toast their subs. I moved next door to one. I figured out how to make Subway good for me, which I think a lot of it is is like if you're in if you're in rush and you need a, when I was at the birthday boy's house, uh, a couple members from Crud in there. Uh, no members of Crud too, but a couple members of Crud in that in that house. Uh, Hanford, uh, Ferguson, and Kowalik. Um who, by the way, like when you're talking about mascots going a little crazy, ever since Qualic dressed up as annoyed, he's just been like, <laughs> it's just kind of a little too big for his britches. Um, but I, um, I would get Subway so much every night when we were writing, and I just get that stupid turkey sub toasted with onion and uh, and uh, and the the vinegar. And I do think that like if you're making your own sub and you're putting toppings on, you can make something that's. That's passable. It's not great. Sure. You know, it's like a three or a three and a half. But overall, as a chain, it feels like a, it's crazy that it's number it's two, number two, right? You said yes. it? it's receded a little bit, but it's number two. I mean, it feels like a dying chain, doesn't it? it I mean, it might be. I'm sure Jersey well, it, Mike's. It, is, it was like the healthier fast food option for a yeah. while, but then like Chipotle kind of stole its thunder a little bit. Yeah. Now Chipotle's a little on its way out. I don't know what's in now, just more bullshit where you have to give tips to robots, but like that's just where we're headed. <laughs> Oh, well, I also think Jersey Mike's is like, I think that the calorie difference is probably not that great between the two, right? You're getting a fucking sandwich anyways. And the cost difference, honestly. Yeah. It's like, it's not that much between, you could spend about as much at a Subway as you can at a Firehouse Subs. It's yeah. like, it's not a Firehouse crazy- Firehouse Subs, I don't like. I think it's all right. I went there once. I guess they screwed up my order. I said, yeah. no mayonnaise. And they thought, oh, he must want a buttload of mayonnaise. Oh, man. And then that's just, I was just stuck with this mayonnaise out chicken sandwich. That's a nightmare. I'm okay. I think, I think Jersey- it's dusty like the churros too, the bread there. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit. I, I I think I think Jersey Mike's is a place that does it well, and it has made Subway kind of uh, you know what's it called? Uh, inadequate, inadequate, irrelevant. I can't believe it doesn't really occupy a spot. I can't believe I it's, just it's was bragging Subway about knowing words. <laughs> <laughs> 
it doesn't really occupy you. You are both correct. It doesn't really occupy a a clear slot in the marketplace anymore. Like they, it's been usurped in the the healthy department. Uh, now I guess the upstarts are like places like Sweet Green. Um, and then it's been uh, lapped in the sandwich department. Everybody's talking about Subway these de- days with such condensation. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> Which is actually. Ironically, is kind of a subway issue. It's you get, true. You, get, you <laughs> kind true. of do get those soggy sandwiches when That's you get true. them. Yeah. Um, I overall now, it's weird because look, not a fan of Jared still. Sure. You know, I haven't. I haven't <laughs> since the last subway <laughs> record. I haven't changed my mind on him. I'm a pretty awful. Still guy. a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I feel like that's. It's kind of funny that that. Not funny, but that tarnished the – you know, like I feel like yeah. the brand has never recovered since then. The world's changed. He got arrested. They have never really figured their thing out. Yeah. I think these cookies are probably one of the smartest things that they've done in a while. They uh, really vet the Olympians they have on to talk about Subway now. <laughs> They're like, you're not a total creepy fucking monster, are you? Okay, you just ice skate? All right. <laughs> It Bar- I think Barkley, Charles Barkley is one of the people they got now, right? Oh, yeah, like, they got yeah. a lot of NBA guys, yeah. But, and they, they've they been pushing, like, we're getting, like, it's fresher. We're, like, we're cutting the meat in shop. That's what they say now. But I got that buffalo chicken sandwich yesterday. It was still fucking microwaved chicken for sure, you know? Like, there's... Yeah. Oh, I can say, when my friend worked at Subway, we used to go there after hours, and, uh, I mean, this isn't some newsflash. That shit is not fresh. They're like, fresh baked bread. They come in these, like, frozen rods. Yeah, yeah, the, oh, yeah. And they're just, like, brown or light brown or white or what, depending on what type of bread it is. But I remember when we were there... Do you remember that movie Powder by the like albino electric kid who oh, could yeah, like yeah, see yeah. the future or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, we would take. Reminded me of shirts for skins, honestly, when I we... saw Powder. <laughs> Directed by a sex criminal. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. So it's, it's Jared themed still. Yeah. Um, so it was like, and it's a very sophisticated joke we would do. We would do a bit when we were in the back kitchen of the subway and we would grab one of the white rods and we'd be like, look, it's Powder's boner, it's Powder's dick. And then, <laughs> and then, That's good. And then that was, like chase each other around the kitchen at subway. And then, <laughs> and then as it like warmed up the room, temperature it would get flaccid <laughs> like oh, powder lost his boner powder lost his boner and then we used to go there and we would, if we would... Weiger did this to me in there like today I'd still love it I think yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a very funny bit great. yeah <laughs> but then we would, we would eat sandwiches obviously then I remember my friend was like oh shit they started counting bread so then we would have to eat day old bread then after a few weeks of that they're like they're starting to sell the fucking day old bread like 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 weird like I don't know what, it was fucking weird selling day old bread at Subway on the yeah. side but I started doing that so we would just get meatball subs, and we put all the contents of the meatball sub in a cup, and we call it a cup of yabas, which is Subway backwards. And then just for like a year, we'd eat cups of meatballs, which was pretty good, and cookies. Yeah, and that's then, great. And then after my friend quit working there, he went in to get his last paycheck, and it was back when they still had the sub club cards, where they'd put oh, the stamps yeah. on to get free Subway card, yeah. you know, free sub after whatever, 10 visits. And when they went in the back to get his check, he reached over the counter and grabbed the full like 32 ounce like paper cup filled with cards that customers had given and just took it and put it in his jacket. And then he was very generous with it. So we had free Subway for another year. Damn. And then we ran out of that. He went in just as a customer and stole the cup again. It was fucking <laughs> awesome. So for years I it didn't went pay from for like, Subway. oh, no good worker yeah. to like kind of criminal activity, yeah. but I kind of like it yeah. no matter what. So the years when I got a lot of free Subway and when I liked Subway really worked out well. Does Jared still have his black subway car? Because they they said that he had one that was like free subway for life. Do you think that it's been revoked? Do you think it will still work when he's There's out of no prison? There's no way it works, but what? he might still physically have it. Do you think, do you think, do you think when he collects his prison items, yeah. it will be amongst yeah. the... <laughs> They're like, and they'll be like, here's your street clothes and your uh, forever life subway card. <laughs> um, I, my, so for my fork score, look. <sighs> Thanks, Dan, for all the free shit. Sorry. Sorry, subway managers. Uh-oh. I mean, Dan, not his last name. <laughs> <laughs> I um, it's hard for me because I like I don't really root for Subway either. But it was for a short you period, gotta. for a short period of time. It was a nice thing to have in my life. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with our guest wise. I think uh, I could even go two forks, maybe. I'm gonna go two and a quarter forks. I do think that the cookies are good. Yeah. So, so like, it's a balance of like, did it meet the ex- my low expectations? Yeah. Pretty much the. Bread thing was the pretzel. All the bread thing was that's I can't even think of it as a pretzel. It's so low, so bad. And the cookies save it. Like I just remember now, I've got those two oatmeal cookies to go that I didn't even get to. And yeah, that, that excites me. They're, they're good. So, the cookies are good, and we yeah. we, we, did, we heated up. We heated. We we did heat up another co- another chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, uh, and this one didn't catch on fire. <laughs> and uh, it was it was better than the loaf. But the loaf yeah. I think is like a, a gimmicky thing, and it's like oh, it looks like the sub. I think it works. Yeah, but. 
that kind of works, get rid of the pretzel or give get, add cheese and make it taste better. Yeah, you pointed at the yeah. churro. Um, I it's it's a so you go two two and a quarter forks. That's right. I'm gonna go lower. I mean, last week we talked about Whole Foods, mm-hmm. and I did not like our Whole Foods buffet experience. Did you uh, go to the one on Glendale Boulevard? We did. Yeah. Yeah, that has got the worst goddamn hot bar. Yeah. Any other Whole Foods is better. That one, it looks like the desert flats got sweaty, and that's what most of the <laughs> food looks like. It's like some weird orange thing or some green thing. You're just like, all right. It was yes. a bad experience. That reflects how the the meal that we had there. And you're saying that that was so much better than today? Well, I don't know. I think I liked it better than today. How do you feel? To me, yeah. I, to me, yeah. that's a pretty clear pitch, color choice, but also I had a really bad sandwich, whereas I think the two of you had like okay to normal yeah. Subway sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours looked the worst. Mine, for... mine was really rough, um, but... I, I I feel I feel weird one forking it because I feel like the cookies do push it up a little bit and I do think that foot long cookie is a gimmick that works and maybe that's the play the way the direction they want to go as a chain is like you know what let's do more gimmicky stuff I think so let's do more big, big you know big promotions like this they're moved they should just become a bakery. That's an interesting idea. <laughs> Subway bakery is yeah. very fun. Minus the bread. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I I don't have any reason to go to Subway unless we're covering it for the podcast. I know that it's like a it's everywhere. That's that's one advantage of it. Like Starbucks, it's ubiquitous. It's everywhere, and also it is pretty affordable. As you know, the price of everything has gone up, so yeah. it, it's one of the more affordable fast food options that you can at yeah. least approximate something healthful. So it has it, it. It I get that it has its place for some people, not for me. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the same spot as Whole Foods of last week. One and a half forks. I think that's where fair, it belongs. Fair, I think that's wow. what this experience was. That's what would be mostly for me if it wasn't for the cookies. I mean, yours your sandwich was so bad. I yes. get it. Uh, but yeah, their cookies are so good. Like I said, I go there. Like if I had like a premiere or if I worked really hard on something, just finished like a cut of something, I'm like, I'm gonna give myself a subway cookie. That's like my treat. That's such a fun treat. It's a good one. It's so cheap and it always hits. <laughs> yeah. No, that that's a, that's the thing that almost makes me want like not want to go less than Whole Foods. It's like it is like relatively cheap still. Yeah. Like it's you know, it... bring back Lovitz. Oh yeah, Eat Lovitz Fresh. was fun. They should they should do that again. That was fun. I saw him at the Apple Pan one time. Whoa! And uh, he was just I went in there and he's it's just like for people who don't know the Apple Pan it's just an old timey burger place that just has a counter. It can yes. feel like maybe eight people in there. Great Rocks. spot. And he I went in there and I was like oh shit it's John Lovitz and he just looked miserable. Wow. And, and there's no more to the story. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked bummed out as hell. Yeah. Was he by himself? It appeared to be. Yeah. I'm doing a show with him tomorrow night, the RFK Jr. Tell him I said, hey. Uh, <laughs> RFK Jr.'s comedy bash. Show. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I out of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't make it, but I'll send some money. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Wax. <laughs> uh, we, we'll just, Emma, we can just connect the Patreon to, yeah, okay. <laughs> to the, the wire <laughs> the account. My bank account? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was our review of, uh, of Subway. It's time for a segment. I've got a mystery pie, and Mitch and Andre must divine a series of clues to ID this sweet treat. It's another edition of Pie in the Sky. I started eating pie, pie, which one is in the sky? Baked a pastry that was tasty, but a mystery which kind? And Andre and Mitch, given it's their best try, guessing this will be the type of this pie. This will be the type of this pie. Should have gone up an octave. Uh, okay, so this is pie in the sky. The clues go from more obscure. To We're also more only obvious. at an hour fifteen, so we stretch it out. <laughs> Doesn't that fuck you up at a glance? Look at the space between the one and the other one. Doesn't that look like an hour fifteen? Like Considering the old timer was an hour and then minutes, I yeah. get it. It was. But I have, Considering the old timer and every timer I've ever seen in my life was an hour's minutes. I have a length. perception of time, so I know it's been like two hours and not just an hour. <laughs> You're right. There is no. There's no break between the one and the one and the five. It's disorienting. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, this is pie in the sky. So here's how this goes. I have a series of clues. Then you can figure out what you can guess what this pie is. Um, the way the. <laughs> All right, Andre's bringing the timer over. <laughs> Talk about, help people out here. Sorry, here listeners, you're still no, thank fucked, you. But um, this is a director's instinct. Like. <laughs> there we go. We got we got the insert. <laughs> okay, cool, thank you. The clues will go from more obscure to more obvious. So we'll start mm-hmm. with a harder clue, and then they'll get easier as we progress. Uh, you have two lifelines. Mm-hmm. The smell test. You can do a blind smell of the pie, 
And the other lifeline is Ask Emma. You can ask Emma for what she thinks. So this is not where the pie came from, but what type of pie What it type is. of pie it is. Yes, okay. yes. To clarify. Going second. The pie is in the room, so. The pie is in the room. Okay. I'll say this. Going second is like you can win a lot of the time. You, you get to choose whether you go first or second. So it starts you. with the hardest clue, but they get more obvious. But if you get it early, then you win. So, Andre, I, I, it falls to you. Do you want to go first or second? I want to go first just because I want to go blind. Okay, here we go. You know what I mean? So, wait, you're asking me questions. I'm not eating it? I'll give you clues. Okay. And then you can guess what it is, and the winner gets to keep the pie. And by the way, it is a whole pie today. It's generally a slice. Wow. It is a whole pie. Right. Oh, okay. First up. The same European region is home to three Nobel Prize winners for physics and this sweet pie. Bavarian cream pie? Wow. Andre, you have <laughs> one pie in the sky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I I can't believe you well went done. first. I, I, I usually well going second is the way to go. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, I what was Einstein? I was like Germany, uh, Varian. There you go. There you go. What was what was what was clue number two? A certain breakfast mascot would want to sink his teeth into the main ingredient of this sweet pie. That's more. That's harder. I think. You think it's harder? A certain cereal mascot? Count Chocula. Sink his teeth. Oh. Uh... So Bavarian cream pie? <laughs> Here's a third one. Uh, Alec Baldwin's wife is named Hilaria. This sweet pie's home area also includes area, also spelled with an I. I think I would have gotten it at three. You would have gotten it at three, yeah, okay. I mean, I, Andre got it in no, one, I so I'm moved. sorry, to be fair, I, I think I would have gotten it at one. You would have gotten it at one. I think I would have maybe guessed Bav Bavarian cream pie. I gotta work on this because I thought that was that was. Well, I'm glad obscure. I went first then. <laughs> no, you did great. Congratulations! I got to figure out how to make these clues a little bit more. You obscure. won the pie. You won the pie. Congratulations! You win the, oh, you win the pie. You yeah, yeah, take the pie. Right. Yeah, it's all yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it from, Wise? Can we hear about the pie? It's a it's Any a clues? Bavarian cream pie from House of Pies. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh fuck! It's from Vermont. That's it. It's, from, it's from Vermont, Vermont Avenue. Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> that was Pie in the good. Sky, just like a restaurant about your feedback. Let's open the feedback. Today's email is from Evan. The Evan song writes, was longer than the fucking contest. <laughs> what happens when you have a guest just fucking hit a home run off the first pitch? Damn. Today's like Eric Davis, game one, 1990, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is baseball your number one, or is it... Uh, it's or is it uh, football. Bengals? I guess the ones I watch the most. I'd say NFL number one, baseball close number two. Wow. NBA wow. is like kind of a little distant third, and hockey's a distant fourth. Yep. Yeah. We had two major franchises. It would be in a Cincinnatian. The Reds and the Bengals. Yeah. yeah. I C used to Cincinnatian. Be... Is that yeah? It? yeah. Okay. Baseball was number one for me for so long, and then it... NFL and NBA are probably like one. NBA is growing closer one to me. It was well, gone yeah. through different iterations yeah. as interest over the years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm only a fan of the NBA. Yeah. Um, I used to watch, I used to follow the NFL though. Who are who are you a Cavs fan? Who who do you? Who I like the fan? Cavs just because yeah because I didn't grow up with I was like a Bearcats fan. Sure. Yeah. And back to our LA Clippers versus Lakers right. like Cincinnati has two big college teams Xavier and UC. Yeah. And I was from Clifton, which is where UC's from, or at least where I spent a lot of my growing up. And so I'd go UC, but I support both of them. Unless they're playing each other, then I go Bearcats in the crosstown shootout, which they mostly lose. I think that's but, very wholesome. <laughs> yeah. I like that a lot. And I love Bob Huggins and his DUIs. <laughs> <laughs> what is with college coaches so many so depraved <laughs> uh just like a restaurant value feedback let's open up the feedback today's email is from evan evan writes in terms of normal restaurant seating how would you rank booth counter including bar seating diner counter sushi counter etc i'm sorry that's all one category counter includes bar seating diner counter sushi counter etc and booth what the fuck is this question? It's just asking, like, wh how would you like to sit in a restaurant, basically, right? I know what happened. Really down. I know what happened. <laughs> Evan wrote, Evan mo meant to write booth, counter, and table, but actually wrote booth, counter, and booth. Like diners, drive-ins, uh, and dives. Oh. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this Susser? No, it's not Susser. Uh, I didn't know. If it was Susser, he'd show up and ask the question in person. <laughs> then leave and, with a pie. And get Subway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he'd steal your pie. Yeah. Um. Uh. And uh, this is okay. this is an Evan. Okay. How would you rank booth counter and booth? I think I would say booth counter table. Okay. There they fix it. Counter can be a lot of fun, and in specific cases, e.g., sushi is my favorite. I agree there. I think booth wins overall, though, for its comfort and privacy. Tables kind of suck, although ninety degree table seating on a date is a good move. Here's the first thing I will say: If I'm Lovettson, I'm I'm a single diner. I will take the counter. 
yeah, I like the solo, name of the counter the by myself. The zone. That's the yeah. spot. Yeah. Yeah. And let's try to get work done or something. But, and, yeah. and and me well, and Natalie sometimes we'll go and we will grab two counter seats or two bar seats. Like we're happy next to, to do each that. other or no? Yeah, next to each other. If you um, got more than two people, fuck the counter. Right, right, right. More than two, more than two yeah. at table is, yeah. or, or actually a booth. I mean, a booth, obviously. It's you know, got to be sometimes booth, right? when you get the counter and it's the end of the counter, and then you can have three people. A little kind corner of, spot. Yeah, a little that there's always spot. someone a little like knocked out on the third. It's true. But you're right. The corner is the better spot. Here's my deal. I'm going to throw toss in the big guy conundrum. Big guy. Yeah, that's a good point. In, in booths, everyone is always like, let's get a booth. And I'm like, this is a booth and the fucking table is right up against my fucking belly. I'm not going to like the booth i'm not i don't like the i don't like the booth i, gotcha. I like yeah i and it happens i'm a big guy but also like there's bigger guys than me but yeah. it happens a lot that's more why jared than ate all those sandwiches <laughs> He's like, Some, booth. <laughs> especially you go to like an older historic restaurant and it's like kind of like this was built for a slimmer populace and yeah i feel really crammed in there and yeah. those. I, that's a that's a fair point against the booth like cafe 101 which is now clark street diner yeah. right if you go to cafe fema the booths are tiny Cafe Fima. Yeah. <laughs> is that a, is that like a, hold on, I think I get that. <laughs> I feel like Just I made small a small ration, smaller people. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tagging on to what he was talking about, you know? <laughs> I feel dumb now. <laughs> I saw Sorcerer, by the way, Casey. Oh, it's great. It's great. I still I, haven't seen it. That poster with the car on the bridge looks nuts, but I'm looking was, forward to it. I loved it. It was it was great. It was it was a I, I I joked about Casey. He was trying to leave the podcast to go see it. We I mean we keep everyone here for too long. We do. And for those listening, you're right. Sorcerer has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It's not. It's, it's, there's, <laughs> except the runtime is probably right around where. Oh, we're at I right see. Now. I see. Okay. Um, Sorcerer though oddly does have to tie in with what I was going to talk about. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> We'll get, Please we'll don't spoil we'll Sorcerer. It. We'll it's, been out, it. it's been out my whole life, and I've, <laughs> I, I've made it this far without it getting spoiled. I also, I came up with a good parody song. Uh, what is it? We're wasting time. It's like American Pie, but it's about eating pies. I want to hear it? Yeah. If I had a million callers, I'd buy you a leash. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> so what's the comment there? <laughs> it's like a dog song. Oh sure, yeah. If I had a million callers, I'd buy you a leash. Uh -huh. I think dogs mostly don't like leashes. Yeah. What's well, this? Uh, it's his band, Bare Naked Doggies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for punching that up. <laughs> Jason Priestley's actually shooting a documentary about it. <laughs> I think I go counter booth table if I have to pick. I go me. counter booth table. Wow! And this is do. just for you eating solo or with uh? Well, with with with, with Natalie. I mean, like we oftentimes we like if I have to if I have to make a choice, I think I will. I think I will I'd say maybe probably go the I like exact the counter the opposite most. of what you just did. Yeah, I think I do table booth counter. Yeah, I go table. No, no, I go booth table counter. Yeah, yeah. booths and there are some roomy booths to be sure. fair. I'm just I, just, I was just optioned to uh, uh, counter the other night at Fred 62 across from House of Pies, across mm -hmm. the street. Mm -hmm. And I was like, eh, I'll go outside under a heat lamp and a booth oh, or wow. a table. I guess I took table over the counter inside. So yeah, I definitely know I go table over counter. What about outside versus inside since we've, we've opened up that counter? Is this neutral nice weather or bullshit? Good weather. It's fine weather. I go outside. I think you go outside. Too. I like the people watching. I like the breeze. It depends. I sometimes don't like... I don't like eating outside just for like bug reasons. I yeah, think. that's an issue. That's, that's, that's what Mitch calls homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty tasteless, Mitch. I pretty told tasteless. you this on our walks. <laughs> this is between you and me. <laughs> <laughs> How does this keep heightening? <laughs> if I had a million callers, uh -huh. it was pretty good. <laughs> I gotta I'll say though, you, for Angelinos and speaking of pie, and now Fred sixty two and House of Pies, where this uh, my 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 championship pie will came from. Um, how, uh, Fred sixty two pie sucks. Yeah, they've got blueberry wow. and apple, and yeah. it's just gelatinous blueberry bullshit goo. 
I like the food there, but the pie is n- also pies across the street, which is kind yeah. of more of a, a like a kind of a seedy little uh, diner. I mean, I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. But you go in there, and you're like, oh, it's kind of like a you know, it's a it's probably seen better days. Or sure. Whatever. Yeah, it looks like pie the same way it did in like 1986. Yeah, yeah which yeah. is great. But the peanut butter pie there is exceptional. The pies at House of Pies are are great. And, and the fact that's from House of Pies got me pretty excited. Yeah, you're you're lucky as hell, honestly. <laughs> I never. I always just try to give it to the guests. This is true. Yes. I do usually give the pies to the guests. Sometimes I'm like, we should open that up and try it here. <laughs> this is one I'm jealous of. This is yeah. one I probably would take. But well, we can want... go split a slice in there. I like what that. a nice gesture. Yeah. Or That's I'll give beautiful. you a whole slice. <laughs> <laughs> If you have a question or comment about the world of chain restaurants, you can email us at, bird, at feedback at birdfuck.com or leave us a voicemail at 830-GODO. That's 830-463-6844. I was going to talk about the timer, but there was another thing I was going to talk about to get into the timer. And this what? is the thing. I mentioned Sorcerer. Mm-hmm. I finished my tactician playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> this is... This is huge. <laughs> It is huge. You know what? Only 3% of Steam players have this, finished it on Tactician This is like so. at the end of Sixth Sense. Yeah. If the, if the twist was that Bruce Willis was is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, anyway, Honor Mode is next, but uh, it was, uh, I love that game. Wow. The Boulder what a Dash. Journey. What it's I'm assuming it's a video game. It's Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's uh, Gate yeah, and it Baldur's is a Dash. <laughs> Baldur's Dash is its own thing. Baldur's Gate 3, yeah, it is a it is a it is a role-playing game with with seemingly infinite branching possibilities. It, it, at least it feels that way to the player. Just there's, you there's so many it? things you can do. And you won it? Well, yeah, I finished it. Oh, okay. I finished it twice. This is the second playthrough on hard difficulty. Oh. As as a it's a, a great experience. And you can played... play a sorcerer in it. Oh, okay, got it. Well, that about wraps things <laughs> up here on Doughboys. Uh, Andre Highland, thank you so much right. for being You're here. Welcome. What thank a for, treat. We got, this is so me. fun. I, I had a delight talking to you. Do you have anything you'd like to plug? Uh, shit. Uh, I know there's something probably. God dang it. Just you're going to have a movie coming out soon at yeah. some point. Oh, I'm in a, a movie called Bad Man. I don't know. What, I did, we, we just finished shooting it. So look for that. It's me and uh, Sean William Scott. Oh, that's cool. And Rob Riggles Rules. in it. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So look for that. And then... And look oh, for man. your movie coming out in the next year or so. Yeah, my probably. new movie coming out. I directed a new movie, but I, it's not been released anywhere yet. Or wait, on whatever. Wait, on, it's like early going, so like that'll be a minute. What else? I don't know. Some, just, I, I'm the worst at this shit. Yeah, yeah no, that's good. That's okay. good. That's Google great. my name. There'll be some shit there. Look at my Instagram. There you go. <laughs> the, the, the Andre Highland on Instagram. Watch the Bengal Barrel video. Yeah, Bengal Barrel. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being here. We have one more bit of business. We have something to plug ourselves, Mitch. That's right, Wise. Which is next week, the Tournament of Champions begins. Mm-hmm. That's right. The most uh, amazing competition in all of Chain Restaurant Podcasting, Munch Madness 2024. And it's time to reveal the logo. Wow. Emma Casey. If you will, please display the logo. I will be right behind you on the monitor and screen. It's coming. Here it is. I'm like looking like this is a screen. Meow. Is it a random oh, meow? <laughs> it sounded like we were. It sounded like we were purring. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That was a joke. Uh, still the same logo. All right, same logos up. Oh, I remember something else I can plug while we're doing Please. our tech challenges. I'll, I'll be at the SAG Awards on Saturday. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Nominated for Best on Comedy Ensemble for Barry. Hell yeah. yeah oh, that's hey, fucking that's awesome. awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thanks, Bill Hader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Passcode 6238. Okay. Here it is. Here it oh, is. Oh, my God. It's kind of oh, here. Like that. Here it is. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> we can announce... This year's Tournament of Champions is For Whom the Bell Does, Munch Madness 2024, the Tournament of Champions 9, Do Quiero Taco Bell, a tournament with the entire Taco Bell menu. Woo! Seasoned beef. That's right. Seasoned beef may be added to the end of this. Seasoned <laughs> beef. Wow. <laughs> we could stamp seasoned beef right here at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I like the way you got the Baja Blast. That's appropriate. Mitch and has a, a cheesy gordita, gordita crunch. crunch. Oh. And then we got Wally and Irma in Chihuahua costumes. How cute is that? That's very cute. Uh, shout out to Chris Van Arts Dalen, of course, for making that art. Honestly, two two heavy hitters in the tournament. I'm not going to tip, That's tip right. my hat at all, but That's those, right. are, those are two big items. You got Rob Lowe. Who's the other? <laughs> <laughs> Rob Lowe is a guest on every tournament episode. Much Madness 2024. 
The Tournament of Champions, nine. Nine. Doquiero Talk O'Bell, I had to read it off of the screen, starts on Tuesday in the Doughboys Double and continues all much long. Wow. Look for it then. Until next time, for the Spoonman Mike Mitchell, I'm Nick Weiger. Happy eating. Eat fresh. And now let's throw it to our ad, Chad Killian. Hello, Doe. Killian the Ad Chad here, reminding you as always that Doughboys is produced by Emma Erdbrink, associate produced by Amelia Marino, engineered by Casey Donahue, and video edited by Mike Dorfman. Want to watch this episode? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Doughboys Podcast. Doughboys t-shirts, hats, pint glasses, and more are available exclusively from Kinship Goods via birdfuck.com. On the next Doughboys Double, let the Tournament of Champions begin! For whom the bell does, Munch Madness 2024, the Tournament of Champions 9, Do Quiero, Taco Bell, unofficially officially kicks off with an unsanctioned sauce competition, Sauce Boss. Guest Jen D'Angelo pushes the boys around and helps determine which savory Taco Bell liquid will be dubbed Sauce Queen. Get the Doughboys Double every Tuesday, plus the entire pre headgum back catalog only at patreon.com slash doughboys. And for all my self-identifying Chads and Stacys, stay tasty. Sources for the intro are in the episode description. That was a headgum podcast.